What it should be. It's your boy N A O N A A. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this drink chest motherfucker Yappy Hour. Make some noise! <laughs> hey, I ain't get the ass straight, Lee. Um, and right now, when we talk about legends, man, uh, this is one of the brothers, one of the very few brothers who got records with Biggie Smalls, Tupac, Big Pun, and Easy E. Rest in peace. Holy moly guacamole, not to mention Mariah Carey, Luke John, all types of hits with all other people, you know, chameleon there. I didn't bear it. His own hits. His own goddamn hits. <laughs> hits with his. Every first of the month, you're supposed to hear this record. In fact, every 30th, yeah, we got, every yeah, 31st, we, tell them <laughs> we came up with the idea that you, every first of the month, we should be counting it down. Until it actually hits the first, and then yeah. the songs just it's come on. Year, and it's everybody's show. household. Yeah, so it's the first of the yeah. But in case y'all don't know, this is a legend of legend. Out here, monkey foot in the game. We heard he got legal lean. That's not lean. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it's like lean, but it's not lean. You know. But it gets you leaned. <laughs> in case you don't know who the fuck we talk about, we talk about crazy motherfucking Bo Mo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, what's up, yo? Now, I, 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 I want to get straight to that to that point. Uh, there's not there's not a lot of artists in this world that can say they worked with Big and Pop. Yeah, yeah. Just just that. Yeah, man. Then there's not an artist that can say I worked with Easy E. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And Big Pun, Holy Moly Guacamole. So let's start. Yeah. Obviously, I I looked at the documentary. Looked at. You know, Googled everything. Did you guys really get on a bus to meet Easy E? Man, got on a one way Greyhound bus, bro. And I was wondering, was it Greyhound? Yeah, Greyhound. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're on Greyhound bus. Okay. Y'all yeah. had a meeting set up, though? No, bro, we didn't have nothing. We, what, what, what happened was uh, Flesh, okay. Flesh was actually going to school mm -hmm. out in Cali. And he was going to different parties, and he was like, man, I'm running into so many celebrities out here. This is where y'all need to be. Like, so, in L.A.? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Like, so he came back home, and, you know, like, we just started hustling. We started hustling to get one-way bus tickets, and we was like, yo, we just go. We didn't have nowhere. We didn't have nowhere to live. We was just like, we finna go out here and meet Easy E. It was our mission. It was, the, it was the whole plan to go get signed to Ruthless Records. Wow. So y'all had that already premeditated. Like, yeah. this is where we want to be. That was the whole play. We were like, we going to sound with it because because we was fans of N.W.A. and, uh -huh, and then right. when they broke up, we felt like Easy E was the underdog. Right. We uh -huh. like, so Easy need the most wow. help. Let's go help him. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, so it was like, let's go sign Easy E. So e Easy, Easy, if, if, you know, obviously, I'll never get a chance to interview him. So I want to ask you a little bit more questions yes. oh, about yeah. Easy oh, because yeah. you know he's he's, he's and one that of my whole meeting, that whole. First meeting and when y'all get to him, yeah, like, yeah, because because what is y'all? You, you said you, you was calling his assistant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Keisha Anderson. Okay, I love that you remember her name. Yeah, Keisha <laughs> Anderson. She, she, shout she, out she, to her. Yeah, shout out to Keisha Anderson. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, look, she she's still a homegirl to this day too. Oh wow. You know what wow. I'm saying? She's still a homegirl. So like, man, we have been when we, first of all we got the number from one, from one of our dudes in Cleveland. Uh -huh. He was a promoter, uh -huh. and he called and he gave us the number to Rufus Records, and we started calling every single day. Right. And she would answer the phone like, like, damn, y'all calling again? Right, right. So then like, we called one day, and she was like, you know what? I'm tired of y'all niggas calling every day. <laughs> I'm going to make sure Eric calls y'all back today, I promise you. Right. And we was like, okay, cool. Right. And then the phone rang, and uh, Busy answered the phone. Wow. And uh, e uh, Easy was like, let me speak to Bone. And Busy was like... Who is this? He was like, it's just Easy E. And then Busy was like, oh shit. And Busy threw the phone to me and was like, rap. 
and, and I just start busting on the phone. With him. You remember that rap? Did oh yeah. You, you, you can't kick that rap right now. Oh yeah. Let a me see. Bit, a little bit. It, it, Let it me was, see. Uh, Let's see a little bit. Of it. it was a. Uh, well, it's the nigga, the nigga, the nigga that wants to get the niggas. They pick up their pen and they try to get ten, but they go that they win. It's dead Mac ten. This blasting. Pick up my gun and you're running enough from nigga assassin. Pop up my clip and you asking Ooh. who in the fuck was that masked man? The nigga that's putting the trigger right just because I'm slimmer. They figure they bigger, but when you consider a killer that's pulling your cap down with them niggas, they're rolling the pack. The straps so pack you got. I see you like I see with the murder serving you up under cover. You fuck niggas get nervous. They heard that I buck. So. Uh, Yeah. Wait, how old are you at this when you do it? Man, that? We, we was like uh, 18. Wow. Yeah. Young. Because yes, one of the things, I'm, I'm sorry. Because yeah, no, no, no. one of the things that struck us immediately, us from the East Coast, we had never heard a style like that. Yeah. We had, and then when we seen you guys with like the perms and the, and the, and the braids, we actually, the, at first impression, West Coast group. Exactly. Man, it was, and especially you guys' affiliation with, with yeah, e. yeah. But it's crazy though. It's crazy because East Coast hip hop raised us, right, right. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. so it's like I know everything about every MC that ever came out because because I, I was like a student of it. Like, so I right. followed everybody that came out from the East Coast. Right. It's just that when NWA and Easy E came out. We related more to them in the lifestyle they was living because that's how we was on the streets in Cleveland. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we related more to them and we was just attracted to more how they lived on the West Coast. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because because y'all was 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 it intentionally um, to wear dickies at the time? I, I mean I mean that's that's what we wore in Cleveland. Oh okay. Like we okay. wore the flannels the in flannels, Cleveland too. Yeah. Like, right. you know, like the flannels right. and the and the and the skull caps and you know what I'm saying? Like we walked around like that. So we was like, okay, yeah, we want to be with Easy and them. Wow. On the but, West but Coast. Was that style like? Was it other people doing it in Cleveland or just y'all? Bro, just us. Just us. But, but, now, I'm going to tell you, like, what, what, what made, what, what influenced the whole style. And I got a chance to talk to him and tell him this <clears throat> was Big Daddy Kane. Mm. Whoa, that's I'm never a, unexpected. That's, yeah. one unexpected. My, that's one of my favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying? Like, one of my right. favorite rappers. I used to think I was Big Daddy Kane back in the day, no right. lie. Right. You know what I'm saying? You so, had a flat top? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting the eyebrows off. Okay, you know okay. I, I cut the eyebrows. Yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so, um, I was I was locked up in the county jail one time, and I was listening to I was watching like I think it was like a uh, rap city with the mayor on it, uh-huh. and he played like a Big Daddy Kane video and Kane spit one rhyme he was like da 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 and he stopped uh-huh. and I was like yo if somebody took that and, and did it the uh, the whole entire verse wow. that'd be insane wow. so I just like I went in my cell I didn't have no I didn't have no paper so I wrote the rhyme on the toilet on a, on a toilet piece of toilet paper. And I just went like, duh, 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 duh. and that's the same rap I said for Easy E on the phone. The rap that got a wow. sound, like no lie. Wow. Just shout out the toilet paper right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's shit happen. That's what real. That's, real. Yeah. That's toilet paper, goddamn it. Yeah. Holy shit. So, so you talk to Easy, and then what's what happens after that? Man, he was like, uh, he was like, yo. First, first of all, he was in the he was in the office with I think um, Jerry Heller was in the office, and I think. Um, Hutch from a brother law was in there because after I finished rapping, he was like, Man, hold on for one second, hold on one second. He was like, Where y'all from? We was like, We from Cleveland. He was like, Hold on one second. Then he walked in another room and put me on speaker. And he was like, Say that rap again. Mm. And then I said it again and I heard him in the background, like, Damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh. you know what I'm saying? Like, like, where y'all from? So we was like, We from Cleveland. Easy was like, I got a show in Cleveland in two weeks. So I'm gonna call y'all back in two hours and we can talk. Right. But, but at the time, the, pre- the the people we were staying with, the the female, she leaves the house and she locks the phone in the room. Like, and she going the whole day. Like, so all day we hearing the phone, like, oh, just shit. ring. Hearing we the like, phone ring, knowing like, that this could be easy. We need to kick this down. You know <laughs> but we like, you know, we ain't got nowhere to live out here in L.A., you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, we, like, so, so we like, you know, he said he was going to be in Cleveland. We went straight to hustle mode. We got to call in our family, like, yo, we need money to get back to Cleveland. Mm. Because the dude that gave us the number, he told us, he was like, if y'all make it back to Cleveland, I can guarantee y'all to open the spot on the show. And oh. we was like, oh, so y'all in no LA more. trying to get with him, but he's saying they got a spot in Cleveland in two weeks. Yeah. And you say, guaranteed, if you'll get back to Cleveland, yeah. y'all gonna open up for, open up for, for the him. guard. Yeah, yeah. So we man, we, we, we managed to get back. It was a crazy bus ride back. We ain't had no money riding back right. on the on the, on the Greyhound. It was crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like right. we on this bus starving and shit. So we get back, we open up the show and we go on stage and then Easy them go on stage. And then after Easy them went off, we 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 just blended like we was part of the entourage right. and made it to the back, made it made it to the backstage area, but 
didn't make it in the dressing room. Uh-huh. So we outside the door, and yellow, yellow boy come outside, and we like, yo, man, can we rap for you? And he like, yeah, go ahead. And so we start busting the rap we did on the phone, uh-huh. and Easy stuck his head out, like, yo, y'all the dudes I talked to on the phone? And we was like, hell yeah, that's us. And he was like, meet me at the hotel after this, and man, after that, it was a rap. Wow. Uh, for real. That's a fucking and that was during the height of, of the beef, right? Already? For oh, you? yeah. I was just about to ask you, okay, yeah, yeah, what definitely. time is this easy? Because especially when you watch the movie and you see uh, uh, the turmoil, yeah. uh, uh, Dre leaving and then Dre going with Shook. This is yeah. when Dre is with This is Aftermath is like forming. Like Dre yeah. came out already? Oh, no, no, not yeah. Aftermath. This is when Death yeah. Row is forming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Dre, um, cause, cause the Chronic had came out. Right. It was out in that. Oh, so okay. Drake, so yeah. Drake, so Drake, he was on. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, he's yeah. on death. He's on death row. Yeah, and um, and Easy. This was a little while after Easy had dropped. Uh, the real Compton City G yep. because um, uh-huh. we 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 was on some of those shows with him. Okay, at the time, like and, when he was, and y'all was dissing Dre too. Keep it. Real. Oh no 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 oh. no no. no. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, don't get it twisted. Like we. We signed up for it. Right. Like, we was right. like, yo, bro, like, even even though Easy told us, he was like, I don't want y'all involved with this, because this is, like, people think this is a, a death row, ruthless thing. This is simply a Dr. Dre, Easy, he misunderstood it. Wow. He was like, I don't want y'all, like, really involved with this, because, I mean, they had plans to do other things, man. Like, Easy, like. To do the, what? They had plans to do other things, like. Dre and I'm um, Easy. Yeah, wow. Easy and Cuban, okay. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Easy, Easy really wanted an NWA reunion. Mm. Wow. Like, he he really, really so wanted that. So, in the movie, that's not playing around when they said, oh, no. to, oh really? Oh, oh, wow. no, oh, no. I thought he, that. Oh, no, he was serious about that. Like, I, you, you know, we've seen that in the movie. Yes. I thought that was just like Hollywood antics. I didn't know yeah. that they were really before he, he passed no, away. They was no, because when, when he got rid of. Jerry Heller, he started to realize, you know, mm. you know, like. And y'all met Jerry Heller, correct? Yeah. Okay, so we keep it from there. When he got rid of Jerry Heller, okay. yeah, 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 yo, you know, he he started feeling a, uh, a certain kind of way, like you know, like this nigga was robbing me. You know, what wow. saying? Like, he was like, you know, what I'm saying. So it's like, I think when he saw that, you know, he wanted to pass stuff up with the rest of the fellas, man, and like, right. and they was all down, man. You know, what I'm right. saying it just didn't like things just didn't line up at the proper time to right, like to make it happen. But yeah, definitely. And did you, so you, did you get to meet uh, Cube and Dre back then, or no? Are you, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no. We we actually met. Um, we actually met uh, Cube after Easy passed away. Right. We actually met yeah Dre after. Um, no, no, no. We we actually met Dre one night when we first signed to Easy, and we was uh, we we performed at the uh, Princess Club, the Metropolis, I think it was out mm-hmm. there, um, and we performed at that and. Um, Dr. Dre came backstage and he was like, yo, yeah, so I heard y'all supposed to be the shit. Right. Yeah. And, and, and even though they was beefing, we was like, nigga, Dr. Dre said we supposed to be the shit. <laughs> right, right. They right. talking right. about us, baby. Right, you right, know right. what I'm saying? So, man, shit, we was hyped. No, oh, God damn, let's make some noise for that. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like it's shot time. Let's do it, man. Oh. And you gonna stick with the hard brown? Oh, yeah, hard Okay, brown. cool, because our show is about giving people flowers. Can you mm-hmm. somebody pass me some Ciroc? Watermelon, whatever. Little, uh, uh, watermelon right here. Back on that. Thank you. What you drinking, Mama Wanna? Mama Wanna. All right, don't drink that shit. Whatever you do. At the don't, end of the don't night, disrespect don't, the Mama Wanna, King. Don't let him get it. Don't, <laughs> don't disrespect the Mama Wanna. This is homemade <laughs> shit. I don't recommend it. it. It's homemade, right. but you know. It's homemade Damn. shit. Damn. Don't recommend it, man. <laughs> so our show is about giving people flowers, crazy bone. And we got to give you flowers, bro. Because you can take a shot. You got to do a separate, separate one over there. Okay. Because that's your drink. Yeah. You now you got to take a shot. Just a little shot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Take it down. How y'all doing? Mm-hmm. Mm. So now we spoke about Easy. We got, I want to get more in the depth of Easy later, but um, we spoke about Easy. It's not only like you guys worked with Big and Pop. But it almost seemed like you guys was the only ones yeah. to work with Big and Pac while they were beefing. Yeah. Is that true or am I outside of looking in, looking the yeah, wrong way? Yeah, man, it really, I mean, it, it may be like some other rappers out there that, may, that maybe did, you know what I'm saying? But as far as I know, we the only group that like got a chance to work with them, like why they, used to, like, you know, why they were both beefing and everything. Right. And, and we managed to stay clear of the whole Yep. Beef, like, like beef. And this this was a time where you couldn't send the record. Y'all had to be in the studio oh, together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's make oh, yeah. some noise for that. Oh, yeah. Let's make oh, yeah. some noise for that. There wasn't no, wasn't no email and uh, uh-huh. sending records, man. You had to be there. You know, like, Puff called us up and was like, yo, Big, once y'all here, we was like, let's go. Let's do and it. And y'all was with Steve LaBelle at the time? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yep. Yes, indeed. So so what happens? They, mm-hmm. Y'all fly to New York? No, no, no. We actually in L.A. And, uh, and they was out in L.A. And... 
Puff called um, Steve. Mm-hmm. He's like, yo, Big, Big want the fellas on the album. Can, yeah. they, can they come through? It was like, bro, say no more. We there. We jumped up, went right over there. Yeah. Went to the studio. Big had it set out, man. Big had like Hennessy, the weed for us. Right. We went this nigga session and indulged and passed the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, but, but passed out the session. Let's be clear. Um, I think this was the first time a real, real East Coast rapper, like, yeah. cause he kind of, em- I don't, what's it called, emulated, Emulate, yeah. yeah, emulated y'all. Like yeah. he was, he was deliberately, like y'all fit together yeah. perfectly. Like yeah. trying to sound like, w- w- at first, did, did it sound weird? Like, cause he's like, damn, this East Coast, like, and he's no. he's hitting it hard. No, no, bro, it didn't sound weird at all. Because yeah. like, actually, in the, in, in the, um, cause I told you, like, we had fell asleep in the studio, and like, like we woke up. No, 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 no. Big asked Steve, he was like, them niggas cool? <laughs> Lil Bill was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah they cool, they cool. And then like, oh, y'all we smoke too much up, weed or something? Like, weed, drink, everything. everything. He said everything. everything. <laughs> drinking, drinking, smoking. Okay. But then like, like as soon as we woke up, like we jumped right up and went in the booth and we all went and, and laid off verses like, bam, bam, bam. Right. And Big was in there just like, yo, these motherfuckers just sleep on the couch and then they not, just went in and, and <laughs> just did their verses like that. He was like, yo. So he sat there with the beat and he told Puff, he was like, yo. I'm gonna take this shit back to New York with me. And then like, so he didn't lay his verse there. Oh, that's what I'm saying, he, okay, He okay. took the shit, studied it, went yeah. back, and, and and we didn't hear the verse after he passed away. Wow. Yeah, 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 we heard, we we heard the album like, when it came out, and that's when we heard the verse, like we didn't hear it until, and yo, we were sitting there like, yo, this shit is crazy, like he yeah. killed this shit. Like, I'm like, yo, this nigga just came all the way in and just killed it, for real. Wow, okay, now, now moving on. There's very few beats in hip hop that when I hear it, I mm. get nervous. Mm. <laughs> that Tupac record, I just want to, I just want to, I don't know, I just want to shoot somebody. Fall dogs, wrong dogs, boom, it's just shooting all the the records, not, they don't stop shooting. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Even though all the shot left, and <laughs> that's crazy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What that's, was that y'all beat or that was his beat? Who the fuck no, was the monster who picked actually, that beat? Uh, DJ Unique made the beat, and it's crazy because the beat was for Easy E. It was a beat we had actually wrote a song for Easy. It was called Artillery Shop, mm. and we had wrote. But was it Easy going beat? Yeah, no, 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 oh, okay. no, 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 no. It's Easy style. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We wrote it for him. Okay, but um, like when Easy uh passed and you know like whatever was going on like. Busy had run into Pac out in traffic in LA, and you know, like, every time we saw him, he had, we had been talking about like doing some, doing some music. So they finally got in the studio, and Unique was like, "Yo, this was the first beat I played." And Pac was like, "That's the one. Let's go." He ain't waste no time. Yeah, he, you could tell. Pac don't waste no time. to no other beat. He was like, "That's the one. Let's go." Dropped this verse, and that's it. Was done. And then like, we came in later and heard, and we was like, "Oh shit!" Put it down. But Busy was in the studio with Pac when the, when the, when that song was done. Okay, so yeah. y'all wasn't. Nah. Okay. Nah. He, oh. We were talking before you got here, and he was saying about, because the name of the track you just said reminded me of uh, you guys wearing fatigues. Mm. And you were saying how, like, you were surprised. They were wearing yeah. fatigues before. You know, you know what's crazy? War Report before CNN. Like, what's the I came inspiration? Out, we came out in 97. And we came out, you know, Doug, Doug yeah. niggas. Yeah. I was in jail in 94 when y'all came out. Mm-hmm. So I, I heard, but I didn't get to feel the whole experience. Yeah, right. yeah. So when I'm doing the research on you today, I'm just going and going. I'm like, damn, these niggas did all that shit before us. Like, I had to give y'all your props because, yeah. you know, if you don't see it, you think yeah. you're the first one. Right. Yeah. But from yeah. the army fatigues, from you motherfuckers smoking weeds, you motherfuckers getting arrested, you motherfuckers do. Like, yeah. y'all was really, really living that yeah. thug life. Bro, really, uh-huh. really into it, man. And, like, the, the whole army fatigue thing mm-hmm. came from us just being, like, we was always on, like, some militant mind and shit. Like, you mm-hmm. know you know, like going against the police, just mm-hmm. you know, like cause in the hood, it's, it's it's the same shit. You know, like police mm-hmm. harassment. You know what I'm saying? So it was like we was totally against that. Mm-hmm. We was like, um, man, we was just like proactive with any anything uh, to move like the struggle of, you, bro. Mm-hmm. We was like basically like Black Panthers, but but wasn't Black Panthers. We was the right. thuggish. We was the thugged out version of. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But like we said, man. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I mean. We've been doing that, man. Like we, we. I mean, we just, we, we just wanted to wear the army fatigues, and we was like, cause we soldiers. Like we talked right. about being soldiers, mm-hmm. hood soldiers, and we was like, the fatigues is our shit all so, day. So let me ask you. I spoke to a promoter a while ago, and this promoter been out for thirty years. So mm-hmm. he, I asked him, what was the hardest group to ever book? <laughs> man. And his first, it was like, 
on Doug Zarman. Like, they, like they, they could get three of y'all. They'll get four of y'all. They'll never get all five. <laughs> man, it's crazy. <laughs> like, like, yeah, man. Yeah, yo, yo, man. It's just crazy, man. It's just like I tell motherfuckers, like, like being a being in bone is like. It's crazy. It's ups, it's downs, right. it's blessings, it's curses. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's man. It's family. Like, real family shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right, real, right. Real, real family, man. And that's like, that's why we always come back together. Like, no matter if we bicker, if we argue. Right. I mean, brothers and sisters do that. You know right. what I'm saying? But it's never nothing that serious to like, it's going to make us be like, you know, I'm never fucking with you ever again. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Yeah. But, but how hard was that, like, you know, to hear a promoter say that, like, to get all of y'all, like, Oh man, shit! I believe him. Shit, <laughs> right, right. hey, shit, we wasn't no easy niggas to deal with, man. Like, like, and y'all was platinum like a motherfucker. Yeah, right, because the thing was like, we was the just like you said, like we was like we was real niggas. Like we didn't even realize the fame and like what we had accumulated. Wow, like we we was just niggas on the streets, and we was like, okay, we made it, nigga. We got money. We them same niggas. That's like we real. wasn't realizing, okay, y'all can fuck this up right, if y'all right. don't like quit being like this. You know, what I mean? it took us a while to like to you know because we still had. One foot in the game, one foot on the street. Right. And we had to learn like everybody else. It can't be like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, it, you got to choose one. Mm-hmm. You got to choose, you either choose the streets or you got to choose this business. Mm. We've been the street route. Right. We get to try to get away from that. You know oh. what I'm saying? Like, so it was like, man, we just like had to make that decision for real. Shit, even for us, we thought we almost had all y'all on Drink Champs oh, yeah. year two. Bro, oh, yeah, yeah, man. And then yeah. something happened that oh, day. God. We were here, we were ready to rock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, I tell people, man, you get all bone, man. <laughs> I'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> no lie, for real. <laughs> okay, so we got this game that we play on, on Drink Champs. It's called Quick Time It's Live. Mm-hmm. You could pick one or the other, if that's what you're feeling. Mm-hmm. But if you're feeling both, you got to take a shot. Okay. If you're not feeling neither, you gotta take a shot. Okay. But it's, it's, it's pretty simple. Okay. It's pretty simple. But we're gonna get your shot glass ready, though. We're gonna get your shot glass ready. But we, we drinking with we you. We drinking with you. We ain't, okay. we, ain't, we ain't leaving you out there in the dark. Okay. Oh, good. We By all, the way, we this all is sleeping on the floor. Watermelon culada. It's fantastic. Okay. By the way, this is Mama Juana King. Uh, no one knows who makes it. Don't, don't drink that shit. <laughs> Do not disrespect my homie, man. <laughs> nah, I know. I just played around. Dominican's <laughs> finest. Okay. Nah, I saw Jay Z. Nah. Okay. I don't like this one, but I'm gonna ask. Big pun or DMX? Uh, Shots right there, brother. Don't worry about it. You gotta think too hard. Yeah, come on. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Damn. Yeah, that was a regular. Y'all can okay. play along. Okay. Y'all can get your own yeah. shots. <laughs> okay. Come on, not turn off. No, right. <laughs> I don't know where you're gonna go with this one. Okay. Ice Cube or Scarface? <sighs> That's man, a, come on, yeah. That's like get me drunk up here. This, <laughs> this, this, this is how we usually get drunk. We going with you to Wit Tavern tonight. We going with you. God damn. <laughs> right. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Yes, salud. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. salud. Mm. Ah, coño. It should be easy for you. Podcast or radio? Podcast. Yeah, I knew that. I don't like this one either, guys. <laughs> he, he has to pick the right way. You got to give him some easy ones. That's correct. That's correct. Don't lead him into the answer he has to. Easy E or Dr. Dre? Easy E. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> got to. <laughs> this, this one keeps repeating. Rick Ross or Jada Kiss? Jada Kiss. Okay. I don't know where you're gonna go with this one. Mm. This is very political. They setting you up over there. They gave you some easy ones, <laughs> but then they gave you some hard ones. Okay. Biggie or Tupac? Oh, shot. <laughs> I had to say for it. <laughs> You know. right, they good over there. They good yeah. over there. They give you some sweet ones and then they yeah. come back for the attack. You know. Okay. <laughs> you don't gotta pour heavy. We yeah, 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 don't yeah. like go like. Yeah, I'm pouring more heavy because he's pouring heavy. Okay. NWA or Wu Tang? <laughs> I would say NWA just because, you know, yeah. they raised me. Yeah. Okay. Pharrell or Kanye? Kanye. Hmm. You like the Donda album? I haven't heard it yet. It's a gospel album. Oh, yeah? Is it? 
It's another one, you know. I like the, I like the other gospel album. Hey. <laughs> Let me take a shot for that. All right, um, moving on. East Coast or West Coast? Both, man. Both? Okay, God damn it. God damn it. Hey, man, don't forget the South. Hey, man. Yes. Salud. Cheers. Okay, we got the South coming up. L.A. or Miami? Miami, Miami man. <laughs> yeah, I thought that would be L.A., yeah. though. I thought you'd say L.A., too. I'm not going to lie. Mm. All right, now, this one keeps popping up as well. And for, oh, this is actually good, because I've got, you had a little smoke. The Locks or the Migos? <laughs> the locks. Okay. <laughs> and you know we got the axe wide. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, I mean, cause they, I mean, it, they just, man, the locks is hip hop, man. Like you would say, that's 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 culture right there. That's culture. But you know, I just I just want to protect you because mm-hmm. the people going to say when you say the locks is hip hop, you're also implying that the Migos is not. But but I'm saying where where, where the locks is hip hop that I fuck with. Yeah. And it's- that's, yeah. that's a great answer, yeah. Real talk, yeah. Yes, yeah. I accept. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I accept. I was trying to force that into a shot. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> this one, I know. I don't know what you're going to go. Outcast or UGK? Man, son, boat, come on now. <laughs> son. Come on. <laughs> okay. Right. Cheers. Okay. Salud, salud. Too classic, both too, of them. Yeah, too I know, right? Way salud, too classic. Salud. I, I wouldn't be able to pick neither. For real. Oh. Okay. Nikki or Cardi B? Nikki. <clears throat> okay. Queen Latifah or MC Light? God damn. They almost the same people. They almost the same people to me. I know, <laughs> man. I'm God damn. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I love both of them. Yes, yes. Salud, salud. Salud. Uh, OG or Sour Diesel? OG. I knew you was going to go that way. Boosie or Juvenile? Yeah. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna say Boosie, man. Okay. Mob Deep or Dog Pound? Mob Deep. Okay. Loyalty or respect? Uh, loyalty. I know where you're going with this one. LeBron or Jordan? LeBron. Of oh, course, because he brought me out chip. He brought me out chip. He brought me out chip. <laughs> Yo Yo or the Lady of Rage? Lady of Rage. Okay. Cash Money or No Limit? No Limit. Wayne or Drake? Wayne. Nineties versus two thousand hip hop. Nineties. Okay. Little Kim or Foxy Brown? Kim. Puff Daddy versus Master P. P. <laughs> okay, let's make some noise. <laughs> we got through Quick Town with Slime, goddammit. Holy moly guacamole. And he was quick about it, too. He was quick about <laughs> it. He was quick about it. And he, and he took his I shot. I he's the quickest we had. Yeah, he took his shot. He took his shot, goddammit. Right. Holy moly guacamole. So what's your favorite part of the game? Is it making the music or performing the music? Uh, both of those. Damn. Everything else. We got to get shot for that then. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you yeah. motherfucker. Everything <laughs> else. Yeah, yeah. I, thought, I thought we quit, but you, you <laughs> want to keep it going. You want to keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Are you everything. pouring heavy tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. 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 You got a party yeah. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everything else. Everything yeah. else in between those two is shitty, man. Like the business, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like the shit you got to deal with. You got to take the shots so it count. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah, continue. Continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The business, and you know, so. I find like the most fun in like creating a song and then getting to go perform it for the people. You know what I'm right, saying? Like right. that's that's the enjoyment you get out this whole shit. To that's me, how you right? get the energy back from what you exactly. Right. You, you, exactly. You, you said something that just touched me just now. You said the business and all that. Mm-hmm. I felt because you know uh, tragedy who put me on right, mm-hmm. and you know me and him are great. We're, we're great friends now. But you know it was a discrepancy for us when I found out how contracts work. When I found out how publishing work and. 
to a certain extent, you know, like, again, we're great now, we're great friends, but I was a little disappointed when I found out, like, like not that, I don't want to say that he jerked me, but he just did that standard industry contract yeah. as opposed to, you know, I'm your homie, dude, like, you know what I'm saying, right. like, we on the block. Is, did you ever go through something like that? Yeah, I'm, I mean, uh, I mean, not really, but, like, I get what you're saying, bro, because that's, 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 that's one thing, like, you know, I'm tired of hearing, like, these, like, like, these labels saying they black owned and, right. you know what I'm saying, doing all this, but they treating their artists the same way. Like, the cycle is not being broken. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, like, if you want to be black owned, then this cycle has to be broken, like, the way these artists have been treated. Like, right. you can't treat your artists the same way you got treated. Like, you're supposed to learn, right. but you know what? I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't gonna treat mine like that. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, just like, when you, when you, when you grew up, you have a, Fucked up life, and you had yeah. kids. You're like, you know what? My kids are way Gotta better life than me. Right. So that's how the shit should be. Like, because that's the only way that cycle is going to get broken, and these artists going to start to flourish and turn from artists to bosses right. to keep putting other people on. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that. that that part of the game frustrates me because, like, niggas always want to scream black on independent, but they ain't really doing nothing for. They, the they, they acting some some in certain situations they acting worse than the, than the labels that was exactly yeah. exactly and they taking advantage because you know you could you could actually say you my homie you my family like yeah. when, when, you, when you say yeah. you black owned it's easier it's easier to trick me yeah, exactly. you know what I'm saying when um exactly yeah but uh, okay so all right moving on we talked about the first of the month not in depth right. What? The song? No, we just spoke about it, in, but we ain't speak about it. Mm hmm. Yeah. You niggas is in the studio. Mm hmm. What make y'all say? It's the first of the month. Bro, first of all, <coughs> we had that, we had the song. Like, like, most of what you heard on our Creeping on the Come Up album, the first EP, and that second album, Eternal, we had. All that shit pre-written. That's what I was about to say. You had that everything done. First like, of yo, the month. And we had. First I mean, of imagine the, month. the verse he spit. He he wrote we it had, in jail already we had, on the toilet paper. We had first of the month organized in. But verses. the toilet paper joint was. Um, no, but I'm saying the, the fact that he had that. that he kicked for easy. I know, but I'm yeah. saying imagine right. that. I yeah. imagine they had all these records already right. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, but how the first of the month? The first of the month is special. Yeah, because like, bro, bro, me, me and Busy, we were sitting on my mama's front porch. And Busy was like, bro, I got a, I got an idea for a song about the first of the month when people get their checks. I was like, that's dope. And then he started saying, like, it's the first of the month. So cash your checks. And I was like, nigga, that's dope. And then I started, and then I added the wake up, wake up, mm. wake up, wake up. Cause I was listening to the Marvin Gaye song one day. Wow. And I was like, yo, we need to put that in there. Like the wake up, wake up, you know what I'm saying? And so we had the verses and the hook before we we even met Easy e before we even knew Easy e Like, okay. all this stuff we had in our heads. So when we used to go in the studio and they would put up beats, we'd go in there like, bah, 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 bah. they sitting in there like, yo, how the fuck did y'all do And was like, that the first single? Uh, nah, nah. What nah. was the first single off that album? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was, was the first single, right? Yeah. yeah who who yeah. produced that record? DJ Unique. Okay. And yep. you went, and I imagine that went platinum out the gate. Bro, like crazy. Like, that shit was crazy. Like, <laughs> hey, I broke records. With yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We like, who can't relate to the first of the month? Bro, bro, people went crazy on that record. I was like, yo, like, we, we getting... We, like, 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 like you gotta crazy. think about it. It was Crack Dealers Anthem. Oh, everybody. Everybody. It was, everybody. People, it was people who everybody. delivered newspapers Anthem. <laughs> everybody. No, that's it. It was like, this is a universal first of the month. Everyone gets paid on the first of the month. Everybody, yo, it's... They, they get their welfare checks on the first of the month. Real talk. That's they like, get that free jeans. <laughs> for real. On the front of the nurse of the month. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. Holy moly. <laughs> Guacamole. Let's take a shot for the first of the month, man. <laughs> and we <laughs> close to the first. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Oh, shit. It's tomorrow, baby. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. We, we can prove our concept. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this thing is a genius. Where, where, where's, where's my um, cup at? Okay, here we go. That's it? We ain't got no more? Yep. Okay, first, we're, the first, we're taking a shot for the first of the month, Let's right? Let's do it. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Now they get the boy. Now they get the So. Oof. That's all my weed. All my weed is gone. Nah, nah, this is mine. This is yours? What you got over yeah, there? Yeah, that's yours. Oh, okay, I got a little bit. Look at the bar is coming up over yeah, there. The bar is over there, baby. She's Louise, Papa Chief. So. <laughs> first of the month. Mm -hmm. Comes out. Successful. Yeah. Hugely successful. Hugely successful. Are you guys knowing what you guys are into, or this is like 
man, we young. We didn't really. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, because um, Easy E has success, and that's your CEO. So yeah. I'm sure he had to come to you and say, "You motherfuckers, yeah. is out of here." Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, it, like in Cleveland, like because when we like started blowing up, like in Cleveland, like we was the shit. Like so, we was like. We don't give a fuck about nowhere else. It's look, Just long as we the shit, long as we the shit at home, like we weren't even tripping. Like we we weren't even thinking about how the uh, how the rest of the world like perceived us because we were so in our bubble in Cleveland, just like just enjoying our success. And everybody like, oh shit, y'all sound easy. Like when we stepped out and started doing shows and we saw the crowd reaction, we like we sitting there sometimes like like we, yo, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Like because girls was like. Tripping, bro. Like girls was like passing out, like because y'all had good hair. See, y'all, no, <laughs> y'all had good. good. You know, in the black community, you got good hair. <laughs> you, you like hot. You got good hair. He got Indian in his family. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they talk. You know how they talk. Uh, they were like, yeah, you yeah. got Indian in his family. Yeah. All day, yeah. But all y'all had good hair. All y'all like. So yeah. I'm saying, I'm sorry. I got a little weird. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. You think it was too much, too fast? Did oh, y'all expect it to, to no, happen hell, that quickly? Hell no, we didn't expect that shit to like. Cause y'all was grinding years before that. Hell yeah. Yeah, but they were still real young. That's what I'm yeah, saying. It's like yeah, it happened kind of quickly in yeah. that time period. Yeah. I mean, the, the the grind for us was a long time, but then when we got when we finally got with Easy, like somebody that could really take us there, the shit was like bam, bam, bam. Right. Like, well, one day we was in the studio. The next day he called us like, turn the radio on. Your song was on the radio, and it was like, and we was in LA. We called him up for us in Cleveland. Like we in the we on the radio in Cleveland. They like what? What y'all talking about? Like. They, we on the radio, listen. Right. Turn the shit up, they like, oh shit. Why are they playing in Cleveland? Y'all ain't made it yet. Oh, no. they was only playing in Cleveland? No, no, no. In LA, in LA, in LA. Yeah, in LA. Yeah, okay. in LA. And you right. calling Cleveland telling right, Cleveland. Right, right. Telling like, our shit is on the radio. In They're LA, like, Power 96. Bro, that Power was crazy. 90, no, Power 106, right? I'm out of the game. I'm out of the game. Power 96, Power 96, right, Power 96 is Miami. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, my bad. I'm out of the game, man. I'm out of the game. God damn it. So, all right, where were you at <laughs> when you first heard your record on the radio? Was that that situation you just described? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we was, we was in a hotel. We was in a hotel room in California. And not, the, not the Snooty Fox. No, 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 hell no. Uh, not the Snooty Fox. Not the Snooty Fox. Yeah. I don't know why I thought the Snooty Fox. Don't want to fuck with the Snooty Fox. Don't fuck with the Snooty Fox. No, hell no. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, some some of y'all know. niggas is looking back like what? <laughs> Yeah, what is the you Snooty know Fox? Hey, man, if you know, you know. King G say the Snooty Fox, baby. Snooty, the Snooty Fox. Know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, oh, the Snooty Fox. He, oh, yeah. Look at his West face. Go, look at his face. Yeah. He know. That's how, you, that's how you know. I was, Sound I like was, a place with pastries. I was, I was a little out of control. I was hanging out in the Snooty Fox, man. I knew <laughs> I knew I wasn't in the right place, man. <laughs> but I was yeah. there. I was there. Mm-hmm. I was there with them crazy West Coast niggas. But go ahead. Yeah, um, so what hotel you was at? Man, I forgot, man, because we stay in so many hotels out there, motherfucker. But we in the hotel, and Easy call us like, yo, turn on the radio. Mm. And we turn the ra- the, the, the little clock radio, we turn that motherfucker on and turn to the channel. That shit was like, it's the thuggish, rugged. We like, yo, we tore that hotel room up, something like that. Like, Rock stars for real. Tore it up, like, Rock. yo, nigga, this is our song on the radio. Broke the we TV. We made it. Like, Broke we the TV. Tripping. Oh, oh, yeah. The Iron Boy wow, bro, finished. Wow, bro. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I oh, love yeah. rock star stories. No cocaine <laughs> involved, though, right? No, not a, a little bit. bit. He hesitated. Okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> a real rock star shit. Yeah. Okay. okay, so, boom. You guys just did. First of the month. What's the second single of that album? The second single of the album was, um, we did, um, it's 1999, Eternal. Okay. Yeah. okay, that's in my notes, see? Yeah. That's how you, that's how you know. Mm-hmm. Because, okay, again, I'm from 97th Street. Mm-hmm. 97-3057th Avenue. Mm-hmm. The block that we hung in when I came home from jail was 99th Street. Mm. So when niggas are saying East 99, we claiming y'all like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We like, them niggas from 99th Street, we just don't know them. <laughs> yeah, 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 make some noise for that. Because <laughs> yeah. that's, the, that's the block we used to hang out. So describe the people from New York, from uh, L.A. that d- has never been to East 99. Tell them what is East 99. Man, East 99 is, you know, is a spot, man. With to, 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 that's pretty much what we did all of our, like, all our dirt at. You know what I'm saying? That was that was that was the street like we claim. Although I lived all over St. Clair, like I lived all I've, I've lived on St. Clair my whole life. But like mm-hmm. I was born on 
I was born, um, I mean, I was raised on 93rd Street, but then my mom moved to 99th when mm -hmm. I was like 16, 17, and you know what I'm saying? I started clicking with them dudes over there, mm -hmm. and you know, it was just like, we just started claiming it. We, we, we called the street the double Glock. We, we, we shot oh, the street. Glock is a non-Glock. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, we Got called it the double Glock. People were like, yeah, we on the double Glock. You know what I'm saying? We, we shot we shot the street lights out so the police would never ride down our street. They would ride they would ride to the end of our street, shine the lights down, and keep pushing. Mm. I'm when like they came on already, oh, when, they, damn it. when they came, we just stood behind trees and posed, like, you know what I'm saying? Like when they flashed the lights and they kept pushing, they never saw us. Like so mm. it was it, it was it was it was a crazy and then like we had like a field, we called it the boneyard. We used to stand there like when it was cold in the wintertime and like burn barrels, like to stay warm while we was out there. Hustling, you know what I'm saying? Police used to come every time, chase us, put our fires out and say, like, mm -hmm. they leave, we come back, light the fire right back up, do our thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Jesus. So now, now no, hold on, but he said, you said Bone Yard. So how did the name, how'd y'all come up with the name? Bone? Bone Thugs and Harmony, yeah. Uh, man, at, at first, I mean, when we, was in, when we was in high school, junior high school together, we formed a group called the Band-Aid Boys. <laughs> band I just want you to show you. I want you to show, show you. I, I do my notes, my history. Mm -hmm. You had hold the Band-Aid Boys? Look, look. Band-Aid Boys. So, look. No. Do I band got Band-Aid band Boys. My second question. <laughs> the Band-Aid Boys, okay. yeah. Okay, but you beat me to it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me know. I'm yeah. on point, though. Okay. Yeah, we, we, and, and, um, and that was just you and Flesh. No, no. It, it was um, in junior high school, it was me, Flesh, Lazy, and another dude named K. Chill. He was a local artist in Cleveland, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and wow. so, and so we was, um, after, after junior high school though, like, you know, that all just man, oh, we started hustling, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Lay, Lay, Lazy had caught a case, he got locked up, he went, they sent him away to Texas to live with his parents. And uh, when he came back, he was like, yo, man, I was down there in Texas, I clicked up with some niggas and we had this little thing called, it was called Bone Enterprise. And I was like, oh, okay, and he was like, we all had bone names. And Lazy Bone was actually Busy Bone at first. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. He, he was like, yeah. I, he, he was like, my name was Busy Bone. This dude was such and such bone, such and such bone. He was like, I think this should be our name, Bone Enterprise, because we family and we should all have a bone name. And I was like, okay, I'm Crazy Bone. And then he was like, I'm Lazy Bone. And from that point, it was only us two. It was only crazy and lazy. That's why our names rhyme, because like we was the foundation. Right. Like we entertained shows together. Niggas called us Kid and Play, Criss Cross, because we was light skinned, dark skinned niggas. <laughs> Lay had the high, the high fade. I had the short fade. <laughs> It was As like bones. Play. Yeah. As bones. No yeah. salt and pepper, though. Nobody no, said no, salt no, and pepper. No, okay, no, 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 no. no, no. 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 Oh, Eddie got whooped. Eddie got whooped. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, bro. So it was just me and Lay. And like, um, as we went on, you know what I'm saying? Um, when we got to high school, we met Busy. We met Busy Bone, and uh, he he used to tag along with us. And like, uh, Lay never wanted to let him in the group. Lay was like, because Busy always wanted to be in the group, and Lay was like, I don't know if we let that little nigga in the group, man. Like, <laughs> I was like, man, let the little nigga in the group, man. Come right, on, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and Lay was like, one time we did a talent show, and we want we we qualified to the finals, and then we let him get in the group. And yo, man, after that, and after that, we was rocking. It was us three. He was he he was busy bone. It was lazy bone, busy bone, and crazy bone. And you know, wish. Wishbone is uh, Flesh and Bones and Lazy Bones' cousin. Okay. Because Flesh and Lazy is brothers. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So he their cousin. Okay. So um, Wish was just always around. Like, Wish was a street nigga always. Like, right. Wish was kicking in doors and doing all types of shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he was just like real, real, like, street nigga, for, like, like for real. And um, right. so he wasn't really chipping off rapping until he saw how serious we was. And when we started leaving the streets alone, he was like, yo, I want to do it too. Huh. And he was bullshitting for a long time, but then he finally got serious. And then Flesh, it, Flesh joined, officially joined Bone after he brought us out to L.A. When he told us this world, where, you know, like L.A. was where it's at. Like so, huh. yeah. So I, I, now, now, now Mo Thug, mm -hmm. because it seems like Bone Thugs was the come out group, mm -hmm. right? But Mo Thug was the actual fam. Yeah. Didn't you have an office? Yeah, bro. All that, bro, bro. Everything. Like I told you, we had all those songs written. Every, our whole shit we had mapped out. We was like, when we make it. We had a, a whole camp. We said, when we make it. Whoever makes it first in our camp, we said, whoever makes it first, we're going to come back and get the rest of the people. 
We right. happened to make it first in our camp. Right. So we went back and got everybody. Mm. We got everybody that, 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 that was down with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we, like, we had this already planned. We already had planned when we get on, we're going to go get them. We're going to put some solo albums out. I mean, uh, do a few group albums and then start doing solo albums. We had all this planned already. Wow. Everything. Like, for real. Jeez Louise, Papa. Jeez, make some noise. <laughs> now I'm bouncing around a little bit. So I'm coming, oh, I'm coming back to this one right there. But one of the... You, you have so many universal records. Mm. So I'm going to get to one of them. And Riding Dirty. Mm. To this day. Mm, for real. <laughs> everybody get in their car. For real. <laughs> and they know they got a little something, a little something. Shout out Chameleon there. Real talk. Shout and out they, to they put on... And, and, and especially when you like riding legal dirty, because you know this is, this is a dirty dirty. Mm-hmm. This is like a legal dirty. Like you, you got the, your gun is registered, but you still got illegal marijuana. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a so license, but you not have that to riding dirty. But you still pump the record the same way. I'm riding oh, dirty. Oh, so <laughs> stupid man. No, you know I'm getting on the nose, especially y'all Florida niggas. Y'all niggas got gun licenses, not marijuana licenses. You're going to jail some way. And, and then you got cocaine in your car. Yeah, shit. Right. You got a weed license, a gun license, but nigga, you got cocaine. <laughs> oh, yeah, conceal, is conceal weapon there's, no, there's, there's no concealed weapon for that, sir. For You're going to go on TD Jacks. TD Jacks. TD Jacks. TD Jacks. TD Jacks. Man, you fucking me up. <laughs> I was in TGK a couple times. TGK is cleaner than county, though. Oh, yeah? Let, let me TGK is cleaner than county. Look, you're being disrespectful right now. Let me just tell you something. <laughs> TDK. TGK. TGK. And I'd rather go there any day before county. I'm going to tell you what they do. They put the AC up. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's called the motherfucker. They it's think like, that it's hospital if the AC shit. is up, it kills the germs. It does. That's how you know you're in a fucked up jail. <laughs> like, it does, though. Uh, it's cold. That's the science. It's, <laughs> it's cold. But it don't kill the mustard. <laughs> it, don't, yeah. it don't kill the mustard. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so boom. <laughs> Come in there, on fire. He's doing his thing. But he call you. He mm-hmm. say, I want you to get on this record. Does he send you the record? Do y'all get in the studio together? How is this? Bro, it, 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 he sent me the record. Like, he sent me the record for his project even came out. I didn't even know who the nigga was. Like, mm. like I, I simply did the record on the strength of the producers, which is playing skills. Mm. Playing skills? Dude, was my little nigga. nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. They love you, bro. Oh, they yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah, like they, 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 they was my little dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, they, they came on tour with us. I watched these little dudes hustle and come up from nothing. Mm-hmm. They real hustlers, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like so, like they, I was in. Um, they brought me. They actually brought me out to do the song that I did with them and Adina Howard, the uh, Freaks. You know what I'm saying? They brought me out there. And you while on I was, that record? Yeah, wow. yeah. Freaks in the morning. Yeah. Freaks. In no, 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 no. They brought her in and they did like a remake of not a remake of her song, but they made a song called Freaks and brought her in because she had that oh, song. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so so I was down there doing that song and they was like, yo, it's. It's this dude out here just like really like heating up out here like locally like and this dude's like blowing up and he a huge Bone fan and he wants you to get on the verse. Okay, so yeah, because you said Orlando, I, they're not from Orlando, they from Texas. Playing skills yeah. is Dallas, they, Texas. Yeah, they from Texas. in Orlando, but they're yeah. from Texas. I don't know, uh, they from Texas though. Yes, yeah, Dallas, Texas. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay, my bad. Yeah, and so um, so they was like, yeah, dude wants to get on. So I was like, cool, yeah. yeah. Let's do it, bro. I went in here and done the verse on the strength of the love for them. I didn't even think the song was gonna come out. Wow. Like, cause I know so many like features before and the song never come out. I'm like, okay, I right. probably just do this and never come out. Right. Cool. So I did. I went in there and laid my verse. Like, and like at the time it was just a hook on the verse. So that's why we, if if you listen to the verse, he talking about he's not riding dirty. I'm talk, I'm riding dirty in the motherfucker on the song. <laughs> I, I, I'm, in, I'm like, God damn it! I didn't know you were talking about like he's not the right. one. <laughs> I'm like, shit, they have the meeting, god damn it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, yeah. I'm just like, so that's what it was. And then like, uh, so the song, like, like we did the song, and like a few months later, Plansky was calling me like, yo, bro, like this, um, like this dude is really blowing up with his first single. He's like, like, yo, he getting traction out here. Like, we might be calling you for this video. I said, bro, call me whenever. You know, I'm down. So like a few weeks went past, and it was like, yo, bro, this shit is on the radio. The song you did, we need the video. So they, they paid for me, lazy, and wished to come down. He'd be in a video. We came, got in the video. 
if you want, like that a month or so, a month or so after that, they're like, yo, bro, I need you to come do these, all these big shows you doing. I just do this, do this. I'm, I'm there. I did it. Then he called me and say, bro, I need you to come to the Grammy Awards. We nominated. I say, bro, mm. you bullshit. Like, he say, bro, we won. I say, what? He said, no, we won. And I was like, what? We won? You got to get a shot for that. I'm sorry. Real talk. Like, real. Yeah, <laughs> real talk. Because, you know, I ain't even... I ain't even. I forgot. So in my intro, when I introduced you, I forgot to say Grammy Award you winner. You absolutely did. <laughs> I did say Grammy no, Award. No, no, you forgot. I forgot, yeah. So let's just take a shot for Grammy Award yes, winner. Indeed. Holy moly, got the moment. I lost every time I went to the Grammys, just so you know. Me, I'm bitter. I heard, I heard. I'm bitter hey, hey, bitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tore you out. Yeah, uh, I hate the game, not the player. Got <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was just with you. Book ahead. So you win a Grammy? Yeah. Is this your first Grammy or no? No, second one. First I won with uh, Bone for Crossroads. Yeah. I was getting yeah. to that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, this and nigga's a good into real. Yeah. <laughs> he answered my questions before I answered it. I like that. Yeah. I'm some noise for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but I like I like I like the flaw. So your second Grammy. What's what happens to your second Grammy? Man, I mean shit, man. It, it, like, and this was like at a point where people was like, oh, uh, we're having a bone. <laughs> and then like it came with this song, and it's like Mariah came. Hold on, the, hold on, hold on. You fucking up my notes. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm just saying she reached back you out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's my next note, man. No, but the whole the, the, uh, the whole thing that set it off was the whole thing with Lil John too. I got you know what I'm saying? Fuck, he's fucking up my notes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, though. I'm just look, saying though. Little John. Look, 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 I know he can help you. That little John. Ice Cube. Yeah. 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 Little John. Damn, yeah. damn, damn. Nigga, damn. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. I, I gotta stop you for a second. <laughs> You're too good. You're too experienced. <laughs> too experienced. Okay. Okay, fuck it. Let's go with Little John. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. That record yeah. is crazy. Yo, yeah, bro. That shit still make... Listen, I'm going to be honest. I don't give a fuck how old you get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to county that night after that record. <laughs> for real. You're going you're gonna to punch somebody in the face. <laughs> no lie, for real. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know why. Watch out, yeah. why, why you ain't give a fuck, bro. bro so, <laughs> so this when I was at, I was in my, I was living in my, I was living in Miami at the time, like when I did this record, and I was fucking. With we was debating, did you still live in Miami? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm fucking with my nigga, Disco Rick. Okay. Oh you know shit, what I'm that's legendary. Oh, that's right, legendary. Legend right there. That's my homie. That's my dude right yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm messing with Disco Rick. So when I come, so Rick tell me to, I'm at the house. Rick called me like, yo, come to the studio. John wants you on the song. I say, he, he say, Mystical, Mystical just laid a verse, killed it. Woo. So I go in there, I go in the studio, and I lay, I lay the verse. John likes, nigga, we, we, this is a single. I'm like, okay, yeah, she just called me for the video whenever. Like, mm -hmm. like a month or so later, he called me down in Atlanta to shoot the video, bro, and that shit like, was like. Yeah, out of here. And it was at a time that Bone was on solid mode, so people was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? So then like Mariah come calling. For like a remix, you know what I'm saying? This is not before your solo on Loud, is it? Uh, no. No. You had already I, done your stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that, that was also, hold on, because we get to Mariah too. Okay. Let's make sure we get back to Mariah. But that was also a question I wanted to ask your relationship with Steve Rifkin. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess he just alluded to that. Mm -hmm. That was just, because yeah. everything else was on Ruthless. Yeah. But your solo was on. Loud? Well, my first solo record was on, um, Fragmentality was on Relativity Records. Mm -hmm. Relativity, okay. Relativity. Yeah, but Loud, they, oh. they, they didn't yeah, they fold but into then Loud. Loud right. took over. Yeah, MOP, Relativity. everybody went and, over and, to Loud. And, 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 and who was the CEO of Relativity at that time? Was it Alan Grumlock? Alan Grumlock and Cri oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Cliff yeah. Cottrell. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, Alan yeah. Grumlock, uh, he, he hollered yeah. us today. I have been around for a minute. That's the yeah. only right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man, but yeah. Yeah, we were, um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> And then how did you migrate into uh, Steve Rippin and, and Loud? Because uh, they took over the company. Yeah, they, they folded into Loud. And into actually, Loud. Uh, you know, um, it was like, it's kind of it's kind of like where it was Steve Rifkin, like when I seen him, like he cool, you know what I'm saying? But it, it was a lot of stuff that didn't go right with that project that should have happened that really like... Let's talk about it. And Loud? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's oh, talk yeah, like, about it. I, I, I really don't feel that like Steve Rifkin really understood the dynamics of Bone. Right. And I and, and I tested like I tested on one time because I'm like you know what's your favorite song and of course 
if you say Crossroads your favorite song, you're just the on top of the surface Bone fan. You're not really. Right. You're not really like, you know what I'm saying, like a Bone fan. You just know what 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 our best records are. I, I mean, what our most successful records are. So like, you know, like, so I, I knew they didn't really understand the dynamics of Bone, Thugs and Harmony and what we, and who we were. And you know, it was just like, it, man, bro, it, it, it just pissed me off one time. They, they ran an ad one time for my album, for my Thug on the Line album, and under it was a bunch of scribble scrabble. Like- Literally scribble scrabble. It wasn't even words, but it was a bunch of alphabets, like, didn't say when the album came. I'm like, yo, son, what is this? I'm like, it was crazy. Like, so, and, and then, and then when, when, when I got worried that Loud was going to fold before, like, I got word from my attorney, like, yo, I'm getting worried that Loud is going under, and you're in the middle of your project. I was right. like, word? So I go to Steve Rifkin and I ask him, I say, yo, bro, like, is this true? He said, what? No, not at all. Not could you? No, 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 no. Two weeks later, they folded. I'm like, and I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, I did. Just keep it real with me. Like all of, just, I'm not a soft ass nigga. Just tell me what the truth is. For right. real. I can handle it for real. Right. Like no lie. And it was just like that. You know what I'm saying? Like so. Every time I see him, every now and then he say, you know, I owe you. We gotta holler, but it's I ain't tripping. It's got deep right now. Oh yeah, it did. You don't think it, it was ever because they inherited too many artists from the relative? Oh yeah, that was probably because they were just yeah. old. They didn't. Yeah, they yeah, didn't. That was probably, they were but, wrong with those artists. But 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 I feel like they had the opportunity to let the ones go that they, they really yeah. wasn't that. You know what I'm saying? Like I think they just kept me just for yeah. the billing. Right. Because mm. crazy you, bone bone throws in harmony. That's going to sell some records. Because you know I yeah. worked the streets for a lot at that time. We worked your record. He, he was on the streets. He was a young kid. He got the vinyl right there. And and I know that. Pull out the vinyl, nigga. Come on. Yeah, he got it right there. Show him we real fans yeah. over here. Show Pull out the vinyl. Right got there. Got there. Got there. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we was we had we was working the records so but I, I remember it was too much. Because shit. my homegirl was just right here with, with, with Veronica go. She was there like the whole time like she used to work for loud like at yeah. the same time I was. Yeah, there. You remember Buddha that was working? Yeah, the street? yeah, yeah. That, that yes, was the, the, the street right there. Yeah. Holy shit, y'all, y'all real hip hop right now. I like this shit. I mean that's the industry side. Oh, yeah. Working the marketing shit. Holy shit, holy shit. <laughs> so so basically. You fuck with Steve, but you felt like there was things that could have been done better. Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Okay, definitely for sure. You know, yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, for one, you know, I had a, I had a single on that album with Sade, man. That's crazy. Sade has never cleared no, it doesn't, the song yeah, with a rapper ever, ever. How and did she, you get that? And she cleared this song. Not only did she clear the song, she gave me she 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 um, gave me the footage to her song to put her silhouettes in my video. So she was actually in, in the, the video. video. And yeah. like, she don't, she has never done it before and she never has since then. Like, no lie. I'm not gonna lie. You went, you, pause. No, but wait, wait. Wait, no, no, no. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we learned something on Drink Champs and I, I don't know if it applies to you. Someone was telling us that after a certain amount of years, all the rights of your of your music Cameron. revert back to you. Cameron told you. Yeah, that, but he, that's, that's not, not what he said. He said. No, no, but I'm just wondering. It, oh, yeah. That's not, no, no, no. doesn't happen no. in this situation yeah, I just want to clarify what you just said. this music? It's crazy you said that. I want to clarify Wait, man, let him finish. Let him finish. Hold on, let me clarify what you okay. just said. You okay. just said Sade gave you original record? Yeah, she, she gave me a, she gave me original footage from her video. Yeah. This is no, that this is no. Oh, that's, yeah, that's it's crazy. She, she gave me, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was, it was, it was that mama been laid off. Yeah. He ain't working no, papa been laid off. That song right there. Right. That's it right, right there. Right. Hard time hustling. Yo, and I found out the reason that she really cleared it is because at the time her husband was a huge Bone fan. And when they went to it, he, he was like, yo, clear this record. Trust me. Clear it. And she cleared it and gave me footage of her in the video. They was like, yo, they was like, we did not think we was going, like, and, and, and this was Steve Rifkin, and they was like, we did not think we was going to get this record clear at all. And it was like, this is amazing, for real. So we running with it. So, so do you own the stuff now? Oh, yeah. I own the masters to, the, to, to, to those records. Okay. To, to my first solo album and my second album. Okay. I own the okay. masters to those. Okay. So that is yeah. true. They all oh, revert yeah. after a certain amount of Oh, years. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. After, th- after 30 years, oh, yeah. So, and, 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 and this is something, and this is, 
And this is something artists need to know. Like, read your contract. Because the artists read these contracts and they think, like, when they leave them labels, it's a wrap. Right. You can just leave your stuff over there. No, like, there's clauses in there. They Legally, they can only hold your masters for only so long. But you have to be on, you have to be on point because if you miss that date to where they revert back to you, then yeah. they got a chance of you keeping them for the rest of their life. You got to do you all, gotta do of, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what we doing. Right. Because <laughs> you see, De La Soul got their masters back. Then. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Let's go, come on. All these artists can do that for real. For real. So is that something that Bone is doing collectively? Collectively, yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. For sure. That's beautiful. Because it was Ruthless Relativity? Ruthless Regul Relativity, Sony, Columbia. All, those, all yeah, them niggas. Crazy niggas. <laughs> all them niggas, for real. Yeah, y'all was, was, was on a lot of labels getting it. Yeah, man. Getting no, no, it. I mean, we don't, be, I mean, we don't really been on every, like, like, we've been on Universal, right. Interscope, Sony, Columbia. Like, we've been, like, like around, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it was like, we know the game. And it, 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 it's yeah, finger popped everybody. Let's just throw that out. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know what we clapping for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to bring the terminology finger popping back. You know what I'm saying? Like, just the terminology, not the actual finger popping. You know what I mean? But the terminology, like, you know, you, <coughs> you hit second base. Shit, 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 shit got real. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck soccer! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I hate soccer, man. I hate soccer. I don't know. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. I don't like. You like soccer? You don't like soccer. Keep it real. You're from Cleveland. Y'all niggas like mean? baseball you can't and like basketball. Soccer. That's no, it. No, 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 no. I mean, no, I don't. You don't fuck with soccer. Don't. Crazy ball, don't tell me. I be trying to soccer. watch it, man, but that shit be frustrating. Like, nigga, get way down there and don't kick the ball. And I'm like, God damn, nigga. It be a three-hour game for two points. Then the ball go way <laughs> back down. What the fuck is wrong with these niggas? My nigga, yeah. Like, like, come on, you don't fuck with soccer. I mean, that's no disrespect, but I just can't watch this shit, man. Hockey either. That shit take too long, goddamn. Long. I just watched the shit on hockey. They be fighting like a motherfucker. On, you see the shit on hockey yeah, on Netflix? Yeah. Um, it's called the Untold Story of Hockey Mafia Niggas yeah. in Hockey. Shit. Mafia? Shit is Damn. hard. Yeah, yeah. Shit is hard. Untold. That's why they be fighting in that motherfucker. Yeah, they yeah. fight. They, that's, yeah. that's what they did. They was the dudes that invented that. As soon as you, you blow the whistle, woo. He just take his gloves off and just start. <laughs> like, there's no hockey, there's no sportsmanship involved. <laughs> just, Where are we so, going with this? I'm just saying. I watched it on Netflix. I just want y'all to know. Like I stay home. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm no, a let's have, the, the, the points record, the Panther joint. Oh Ooh. yeah, man. Yeah. Y'all were all in the studio. That that video was. Bro, that was the craziest shit ever, bro. Cause like this was the first time. Like yo, this, I, this was the first time we went to. That was D and D Studios. This is so crazy, bro. Because it's like. Mm. That, like, what year was they? Did they come out? Ninety-five, bro. What's so crazy? What's so crazy is this is when Easy E had brought us to New York. Like this when Easy, like like this when that um, in the movie. I feel when he saw Ice Cube. When he saw Ice Cube. That's what. I, that's yeah. when all that happened around the same time. Right. Okay, I went too far. Remember like, that that story <laughs> where Cube saw Easy in the club in the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in the tunnel, bro, bro, bro. Bro, it was a historical night for me. I remember that night like it was yesterday because it was historical for me because, for one, we would easy e in New York. Never been in New York ever before. Wow. We walk in the streets in New York. First of all, nigga go buy us all leather jackets. We in this bitch like, like NWA for real. Like, nigga, <laughs> gangster. You know what I'm saying? We like, nigga, we in New York walking the streets with easy. He like, we going to the club tonight. We go to the fucking tunnel. We pull up to the tunnel. The nigga Heavy D... Woo. It's at the R. front door like he the bouncer. Like, this nigga's like, what's up, E? I'm like, this nigga's heavy the bouncer. Heavy D, OG. Yo, like he I'm sitting here like, nigga, this is Heavy D right here. Nigga, what the fuck is going on? And nigga like, yo, I heard, the, I heard of y'all niggas. Y'all niggas do y'all thing. I'm like, nigga, this is crazy. Yeah. So we go in the spot, go in the tunnel. We walking through the fucking crowd. I'm walking through the crowd. I feel somebody, like, pull my hood. I turn around, this nigga LL Cool J. Woo. I say, nigga, what? Yo, this nigga LL, yo, yo, this nigga say, yo, big up, son, I'm watching y'all. I say, nigga, this nigga LL Cool J just said he watching us, nigga. So we go I'm in this go ahead and pour your shot for you. Go ahead, pour your okay. shot. We drink a shot for all of this I shit. I mean, this, this, you just telling a legendary story. You need a shot. You deserve it. I'm being honest with you. Don't ruin it, God damn it. Let me finish. I'm not, I'm not. Continue. So, so, Continue, Essay. So, so we walk in, and uh, we walk in, like, behind E, and, like, Ice Cube is in the club. 
And this is when they was having beef. Right, right. right. So, so we thought. Right, right. We, we in the club, yo, we like, oh, this for go down in this bitch. We like, yo, that's Cuban E. It's about to go down. Yo, these niggas saw each other, bro. It was like, these niggas ain't seen each other in years. Like, long lost brothers. Like, oh, shit. What's happening? Hugging, uh, like, kicking it. And like, I'm like, so that part in the movie, to me, was a little bit, you know, like, cause I, I didn't really see the standoff. Like, the security got all right. tense and like, that was the them niggas shit, saw each other and they was like, brothers, bro. They was like, yo. What's happening? They sat at the table. We sat at another booth while him and Q sat there the, almost the whole night we was there chopping it up. They did show the that part time. in the movie, but that was with Dre. No, no, no. It was with Q. Q, yeah. No, I'm talking about when they chilled the whole night. Oh, that boy. Oh, shit. Holy moly. I might be bugging. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I drink a lot. All right. It's okay. And Q says the story, and he says it like you're saying it. The day yeah. they just chopped it up, and yeah. it was all love. Yeah, chopped but it up. But that was in a tunnel? Yeah, man. I didn't yeah. know that part. Bro, in the yeah. movie, I thought bro. it was in Cali. No, bro. That was the tunnel. No, no. I knew it was in New York. Was that in was in New, New York. York. Like, yeah. we was like... Because I remember my first time going there, and Lil Bell was telling me, he was like, yo, this is the tunnel, son. I'm like, yo. Yeah, the tunnel's a foul place. I already um, know. Yo. They fat, cut girls, too. Yo, yeah. Fat Joe held it. <laughs> yo, we was in that yeah. no, yo, we was in a tunnel had a unisex one night. bathroom. They yo, would fight bro. girls, too. I was like, what the fuck is going on in here? This is crazy. Oh, bro, yeah. I know about it. Bro, we in the tunnel with Fat Joe one night, my nigga, like, uh-huh. and, yo, Terror Squad, them niggas, yo. Talk about it. Yo, they shut that bitch <laughs> down. <laughs> hey. Oh. Joe, Joe and Terror Squad, them niggas shut that bitch down. Like, some nigga had a beef with the squ- Terror Squad. Mm-hmm. Not Joe, a good idea. The squad, them niggas came over there, they, they, they say, boom, y'all niggas stand right over here. Stay right here. Don't move. They tow that bitch up. Wild Every Puerto Ricans. Had, yo, Make some noise for my wild Puerto Ricans. They tow that bitch up. Thank they you, man. Thank you, man. Thank Thank you, man. Thank Thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, I don't like, think there's Dominicans in, in Terrace Girl. I don't know. Yeah, we have to uh, check. We have to check. Yeah, but, but, but like you know, like uh, like Joe and like like Joe and like Pun. Them was the first like rappers. Like when we got in the game, like them was the first dudes that, like really took us in. Like mm. them niggas took us in, took us to the Bronx. We had Joe come to Cleveland. He was in our videos. Mm. Like so, <laughs> we just clicked. them and um, Naughty by Nature. Like oh. to this day, family. Best Tretch, people, man. Touch my nigga. Best, man. That's my nigga for, yeah. for real. Yeah, Tretch, and one of the Tretch. illest rappers alive. Bro, Tretch the, is one, one of my illest. favorite. Yeah. One of my favorite lyricists, no mm-hmm. lie. Hit it with me, we'll come back. He's, I think he doesn't get the props he deserves. He don't. That boy is a beast, for yeah. real. And yeah. he fucked a lot of bitches, too, when he was up. Bro, that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> keep it real. Yeah, that's Tretch, nigga. Keep it real. Nigga, Tretch's that's finger Tretch. popped a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> keep it real. Keep it real, Look man. At Tretch. I think, yeah. I, but we was talking about the well, like say, making OPP, the record. The <laughs> Hold on, let's just skip, don't skip over OPP now. For real. Come on, yeah. I think say other people pussy is his. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what he about. You just gotta think of the title, OPP. <laughs> you know he was living that shit. Pussy. He was definitely it's living that shit. <laughs> Nigga, wow. Y'all ain't paying attention to the song. <laughs> oh, you want some OPP? Yeah, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga was still in niggas pussy from early. From early. Early, <laughs> bro. <laughs> come on, bro. That was Shout out, mad, my mad nigga. Beef. Sure. <laughs> come on, come on, salute. Let's make some noise. Yes, a crazy motherfucking bone, goddamn. Goddamn. Let's finish this story. The mm-hmm. point is—is is it in D and D studios or not? I don't. I, bro, I forgot where it was, but like it was I, New York. Yeah, I New feel York. like in my mind. I just it was remember D&D because, I, bro, 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 the shit was like bam, bam, bam. It, it was the cut and paste shit before it was cut and paste. It was right. like nigga, okay, punch in, you shoot your verse, yeah. do your verse. They shooting the go video in this at room the same time, and do right? the video, bro. We did our verse, went in this room, and it, bro, bro, and if you go back and listen to the song, the the four lines I use is the lines I told. I, I said to y'all, like right here, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga, the one side. The toilet paper nigga, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, it sounded familiar. I used the first four bars of that rap because they was rushing us, like, come on, come on. I was like, oh, fuck it, come on. We done. They was like, oh, that shit dope. Peace. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, we no, get like, too much history right now. <laughs> Did y'all feel like it was an epic? And this is the first time in Yo, Drink Champs yeah. history I'm used the bathroom before EFN. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. This is the first the time in Drink Champs history. Yeah, you know as soon as you get back, I'm fucking up. Okay, go in. Did, did y'all feel it? Like, you felt it was epic in the moment? Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Because, like, we was in there like, yo, all these motherfuckers, like, we rock with. Like, I just remember standing outside. Like, this is my most, like, this is the thing I most remember the most. And standing outside, watching Red Man shoot his part inside that gate, the little fence he right, was behind. Right. I remember standing there watching that shit like, yo, this nigga killing that shit. Like, God, like, 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 this Red Man, like going in, you know what I'm saying? I remember watching that shit there like, 
this song gonna be crazy. And then when I heard it, I was like, Nick, we on this track with some legendary motherfuckers. That you peep crazy. Biggie's part on it, too? Oh, yeah. Like, you yeah. was there when he was doing it? Yes. Everybody was, like, in and out, like. It had to be D&D. Has, you can't check if it was D&D? I feel like it was D&D Studios. And that's Easy Mo B produced that? Who produced that record? Do you know? Uh, I ain't sure who produced that. Oh, yes. It was Easy Mo B? Yeah. And I feel like that's one of the first posse cuts of, like, I mean, besides obviously, like, like uh, self-destruction and joints like that. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, one of the first, like, that. Yeah, yeah hell yeah, it is. It is. That's why I was so down with it, because I was a big fan of the other ones, like, all in the same game and self-destruction. I was like, yo. Did y'all feel like y'all were different? Because it, everybody's, I think, from New York in that record. Yeah. Y'all felt I mean, like, was, like outsiders in it? Yeah, Coolio, yeah. Coolio, Coolio. Like, yeah. But we did feel like, we was like, we was honored, though. We was like, yo, like, See, they noticed us enough to have us on this motherfucker. Like, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? We was like... And an epic dope. record. Yeah, definitely. That's crazy, man. So, this is one of the things I've been wondering. So, when y'all came out and you said you had the plan to, to go back and bring everybody on and put everybody on and do the record label, mm -hmm. this is prior to even when Wu-Tang thought of doing the, their separate deals. Mm -hmm. yeah. did, you, did you think the plan that you had held together? Like, what went wrong with the plan at one point? To a certain extent, yeah, yeah, it did. I, I mean, we, we did. About? The, the plan of them having all, like, like their business structure to go back and put on all the yeah. other groups. Yeah, to a certain extent. Most dogs. Yeah. yeah, to a certain extent, we did, you know what I'm saying? But what went wrong, I think, is... Like, what did you learn from that from that whole lesson, you know, like, dealing with... Oh, doing the Mo' Thug thing, I learned that we, uh, that we needed to hire professional people that knew about the business, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, right. like, when we first started this business, but, like, Easy e had died. We was only with, what people don't know is we were only with Easy e for one year. And everything we accumulated from that one year, we had to, like, put to use. From us picking, from him picking us up in his bins and driving us to the studios, and we emulated all that shit with our artists. Picking them up, like that's all we knew. Like what Easy did for you. That's what he did for all us. Right. So we say this is what we're going to do for our artists. That's fine. But it wasn't enough because we didn't have the actual knowledge of the music business. Mm. We we knew what we saw, but that wasn't enough to take us where the fuck we needed to be. We right. need, we needed to sit down and like okay, pause that. We shouldn't be trying to put an artist out right now. We need to make sure our careers are steady. And the then come back. The foundation needs to be solved. Right, and right. then come back. I feel like we done everything like premature because it was moving so fast. We didn't have a chance to learn what was what, who was who. Don't do this, don't do that. And I think us losing Easy E, I feel like he would have told us that. He would have showed us that. The, the mentor. Right. right. So like we didn't have no. After he passed away, we didn't have no mentors. It was just us. We was mentoring each other. And you made crossroads after that, right? Yeah. Yeah, was, definitely. Was that what the inspiration was? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the inspiration was like, I mean, the first Crossroads we made, if people don't know, like we did a Crossroads original one that was on our album, and that was for one of our homies that passed away in the hood. He was actually damn near part of our group. You know how he, The brown skin dude? No, 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 no. You know, how you, you know how you have a dude that's like, he's not in the group, yeah. but he helps you do everything to further the group? That yeah. was that dude. I think he's in the documentary that y'all made. And um, might yeah, be, yeah, yeah, might yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. might be, bro. Yeah, there you go. And he like, you know what I'm saying? Like he was always like, like supportive. He gave us rap. He made sure we made all our shows. Like, nigga, y'all know, y'all got to make it. Come on. Mm -hmm. He was that nigga. Mm -hmm. So he got killed, wow. trying to break wow. up a fight. You know what I'm saying? He got That's killed. And um, so we did the song for him. But after we got, after Easy signed us, like we had started losing like a lot of our people. Like Wishbone, Uncle Charles got robbed and killed. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I mentioned him on the record. Lazy Bone lost his child. God bless. Um, my cousin, my cousin was murdered. Uh, One of our closest friends was murdered, and this is my brother-in-law. In Cleveland area. Yeah, my wow. brother-in-law was murdered, and every last one of them shot in the head. Every last one of Damn. them, except for Lazy's unborn child. Every last one of them shot in the head. Nobody never found for the murder. So it was like, yo, it's like, yo, bro, we we get on and we doing all this positive stuff, but all this negative shit is happening to us. Like we like, fuck is going on. So we like, we gotta pay homage. Let's remix this song. 
and pay them homage. Like we didn't we didn't do this song trying to win Grammys. Or we like we we doing this song for the people to that heal. passed away, right? And for us to heal and their families. And that shit just, just was like. And what does crossroads actually mean? What does that word actually mean? Man, crossroads like. It's kind of funny because, like, you know, like, when we did the song, it's like, like, it's, the song Crossroads is actually like you're going to see the person again at some crossroads and stuff a like road, that. You a road you're going to cross together. You know what I'm saying? But okay. had I had I had the knowledge I have now, I probably never would have made the song. Really? Because I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't, like. Subscribe to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a. Cause you really have a lot Illuminati. more knowledge right now. You know what I'm saying? What does Illuminati have to do with that? That's, that's, that's what that's what I. Wikipedia, you they say you 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 like Illuminati or you you think oh. niggas? No, he don't like the you Illuminati. You think niggas and rappers in Illuminati? Oh uh, no, what? No, I have no. What? <laughs> that's, what you're, that's what Wikipedia says. Hey, bro, 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 bro. bro. I, the Illuminati wrote that I shit. The Illuminati wrote that. They said I think they, I think the Illuminati is the most. I think it's bullshit and propaganda, bro. Like because like how come how, how come when niggas make money they got to be some part of, they got to be Word. I'm like why can't niggas just make money and just making money because of what they do? It can't be smart. Why, why they got to be money? part of some secret society? I had to kill society somebody. And, yeah, I had to get. I say like, the conspiracy is the conspiracy. Yeah, like mm. like and that's conspiracy. Like I ain't gonna even lie. Like on my podcast, like I went down that road a lot of times. But when I started doing the research, I was like, my nigga, I'm not about to go. Off speculation. I'm only right. going off facts. Uh-huh. And y'all niggas speculating all day. I'm like, right. show me the facts and we'll talk about it. I feel it. like you gotta take another shot for that. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. Real talk. <laughs> I feel like you yeah. just wanna take a shot. Yeah. I, I, feel like, I feel like we straightened shit out just now. Because your Wikipedia page is crazy. Yeah, for real. I'm as like, soon as we went there, they said he believes in Illuminati. We said, wait Damn. a minute. <laughs> Hey, yo, no, it doesn't it, say he believes in the Illuminati, bro. <laughs> so you make like that. It Look, says, I got a hefty shot like you. Yeah. Well, no, it does. It says you believe in rap, says, rappers are in the Illuminati. It says you believe rappers is in the Illuminati. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, so they watch my podcast. Okay. The so, Wikipedia no, is watching this is what podcast. I, this, is what the I, Illuminati. this is what I believe. I said on my podcast what I do with my dude out Jeff and Cali. I said... Like, because uh, they asked me if I think, like, rappers are part of the Illuminati. I was like, yo, that's not my place to place them there. But I'm saying, if people are, if you are purposely throwing up signs, talking shit, that's affiliated, that you know that is, is affiliated with this organization, then, like, I mean, come on. I'm like... What the fuck? If so you purposely what, what, doing it, what the fuck is everybody supposed to think? Because I, I kind of know a blood sign and a crypt sign. I don't know a Illuminati sign. What's a Illuminati sign? Bro, I, bro like, I've heard honestly, it. It's all. <laughs> bro, honestly, look. I don't know. I, so, I, 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 no, no, no. So, bro, oh, oh, oh. this was crazy, though. Is he horns? So, so apparently, so apparently, like, it's all this type of shit like, that I never knew. Handshakes that, that we were indulged in, bro. Okay. This is what's crazy. The pale horse. I even heard the Illuminati was supposed to be the good guys at Yo, one point. Yo, because if you look at our album covers and shit, if you look at our album covers, there's always some mystic shit, always some crazy shit. Talking about bone thugs. I ne- yeah, I right. never knew what this shit was. That you was putting out? Eat? No, no. Our first album. We getting deep. And then the thunder's we coming. Deep. The Illuminati yeah, is Illuminati. definitely <laughs> deep. We getting deep. <laughs> shit is deep. We, right we, right we, we, we gotta watch out, man. Crazy. <laughs> Where you go with it? I'm with you. Whatever you say, I believe it. Let's go. We taking a bro. shot for the Illuminati. I'm a shot for Illuminati and Crazy Bone. Whatever thought he want to go with it. Let's go. I'm going with him. I'm going with him. Solid. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Solid. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, so what I was saying was like, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. we didn't really understand like all those like signs and, and like, symbols. You know, you got to take it for it. Man, you don't have yeah, to take yeah, it, yeah, man. Yeah, let let live, bro. What are you talking about, man? We from East 99 together. Come on, yeah, let's go. He, he got to work after this, too. Yeah. 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 Oh, we is, too. We, we going to be DJ his shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. come on. So, <laughs> look, so, yeah. so we didn't really understand, like, what all them signs were. If you look at my fucking uh, Thug Mentality album, bro, they had a nigga, and this was none of my idea. They was like, yo, this shit looks fucking good for the bone. But who's look. saying this to you guys, that this looks good? The record label. They like, yo, this shit is dope. You know what I'm like, come on. So I'm doing this shit, not even knowing, like, what these horns mean. None of this shit. I'm like, yo, this shit is, look dope as fuck. It look like the bone. Like devil shit? It, like, it looks like bone. Honestly, like I was satanic, like, satanic, crazy shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually like, it looks like bone sounds. I'm like, oh, goddamn, it's, it's fucked up. <laughs> it's fucked up, but I'm like, it actually look like bone sounds, so I'm down <laughs> with it. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> my nigga, so like, years later, I'm on my podcast doing a fucking show about the Illuminati, and I'm looking up the images. I'm like, 
Wait a minute. This is like your album. God damn it, wait a minute. These niggas done. <laughs> I've been bamboozled around this. Like, <laughs> they done made I'm you like, a part of the Illuminati. You I'm ain't like, even what know the it. fuck is going on? Like, yo, I'm like, son, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, all this shit matches with this. <laughs> and me and my nigga was talking like, yo, okay, I was tricked, y'all. Yo, I'll I keep it 100. I didn't know where they was leading me. But I, you think people were purposely putting symbols in your shit? I, just, oh, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. bro, purposely. You think so? Yeah, purposely. Few, because, million, yeah. because I think people got it twisted. Like, I'm going to cater we, to this shit. Like, Let's go. I'm, I believe you're the caterer. We, I'm the caterer. We, we we rap about, bro. Ain't nothing we we don't like. We can't we, we can't rap about shit we don't know about. It's it's impossible for right. us to go in the booth and rap about something we don't. I don't even have a passion to write about shit I don't know about. Right, right. So it's like I only write about shit I lived, I see, I experience, or I know motherfuckers that went through it. Right. Oh. So like when we did this song, the Ouija, the Ouija board. Let's go. So you did. The, you've done I, I, the Ouija board before. Hold on, hold on. I just want to ask. Um, you guys named the song called the Ouija board. Yeah, you did yeah. the Ouija. And, it. and then I know. Continue. And <laughs> what happens after this? <laughs> so look. We had a song called. We had a song called. Like some Halloween <laughs> shit popping right now, man. Yeah, I watched American. And it's thunder, yo. Let's go, bro. I watch American Horror Stories. It's my favorite. Story. Yeah, we about to have it right my here. My favorite shit, man. So, yeah. so we did a song called Ouija. Like, we played with the Ouija board at one point. Like, it in was the just, video. No, 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 no. This, this like before we even, just before hanging we even out. made it. Like, we played with the Ouija board. Okay. One time, Busy and Lazy came to my house. These niggas for Yo, these niggas came to my house and said, yo. I did this once too. We got to talk to you. I say, talk to me about what? They're like, Who got to talk to you? The Ouija board? No, no, no. No, no man. <laughs> no. They got to talk to them to do the Ouija board. No. Lazy and Busy came to my house one day and said, yo, we need to talk. I say, okay. Talk about what? They like, yo, come upstairs. And my my room was in the <laughs> attic. <laughs> my room was in the attic at my mama's house. So we go upstairs, you know what I'm saying? These niggas put out a Ouija board. Me, <clears throat> I was raised as a Jehovah's Witness. So I'm I'm already knowing off the top. Nigga, what is that? What is you doing with a Ouija Jehovah board? didn't witness that. And, yeah, he didn't. You know what I'm saying? Jehovah's not trying to witness that. <laughs> yeah. Jehovah ain't fucking with so, that. So, but being young, 16, I'm like, Okay, come on, let's play it. Everybody told me not to do it. I want to know why they said don't do it as a kid. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. I want to know why they said don't do it. So That's we most start. Who get co- hooked on cocaine stories? That's the same exact way. It's different yeah. different thing, but okay. They say most people different. don't get killed on, and then they do it. Okay, continue. <laughs> All right. Imagine doing Ouija board on cocaine. <laughs> I mean, he didn't make a story about that. <laughs> Ouija true. cocaine. Go That's ahead. true. Yeah, so so they came to the house and they're like, "Yo, we got to show you something." I said, okay, so I go upstairs. Crazy. This is crazy right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This shit is wild. The range. Yo, so they like. I'm trying not to pay attention. Yo. So they like. Um, to the atmosphere. But watch I'm this. scared too. And so they started doing it like the. This is why the, this is why the song starts off. Ouija, are you, Ouija, are you with me? Because we was like. <laughs> Ouija, are you with me? <laughs> <laughs> They was like, I feel like we should have a Ouija board right listen, now. Listen, they sitting here like, they sitting here like Ouija, are you with me? And I'm looking like. Fuck, who the fuck y'all talking to? <laughs> like, oh, you don't understand the, no, the board. Like, oh, you didn't know what it was. No, no, no. They I'm trying like, to talk to the other side. No, I knew the board. I knew of the board, but I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, now who the fuck y'all talking to? Like, is there somebody in here with us? Let me know. So they like talking and they like, yo, they asking the questions and like, Jamal, are you in yo, the building? Like, and your hand was on it, your fingers? And so no, 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 oh, no, no. I, I was say, so you could feel it. No, I didn't touch thing? it. I'm looking at them to see if it's, if they moving them up. I'm like, these niggas trying to trick me. I'm like, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just crazy, bro. Like, so we talk about everything we've experienced. Like, we had some experiences with that Ouija board. I, don't, I ain't gonna talk about it because it's. I was to say, you talk about everything but the Ouija board. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. yeah. I'm not, because I don't, I, like, I'm totally against all that. I'm, I'm not like, we done that as young kids, as young, right. stupid, young, and dumb kids. <sighs> Me as a man now, I would never, you know what I'm saying? I would never indulge in anything like that because I know what it brings to your life. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like at that time, we was like, you know, like, let's do it. And so we experienced with it. So we made the experience and people started talking about we was devil worshipers. I'm like, my, my dude, like, I'm like, so when you talk about what you experienced, like, you, you automatically label. Yeah, it was like, like the Marlon Mansons of hip hop. Yeah, or the original like, hardcore. Yeah, hardcore. Yeah. Right. Really, I'm like, bro, like we did this, like you know, like like just we just like you we talk y'all about. Didn't even know that. Yeah, just like we At talk least about. You didn't know it. No, no, no. Like, I mean, we 
we fuck with it, but it was like, okay, this ain't for us. We figured out where to come from. We cool. And it was just like a like like I said, it was just a time in our past, like something we went through. You know what I'm saying? Like just a phase we went through, and we was like, okay, we done with that. And we never even looked back to that shit. Nobody was like, let's go worship the devil. Like, ever. But then they put it in your graphics. Oh, yeah. they put like, Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was, I, I, I want to tie it in. <laughs> no, 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 no. They did, though. Right. Because they heard our lyrics and they was like, yo, this is, yo, and this is what I feel like. I feel like Bone was blackballed in the game because I felt like, I feel like they were going to use us. They were going to use us for something, but when we didn't, when we didn't, like, Comply. fall in line, right. when they found out that we couldn't be trained or tamed, Oh, them niggas dysfunctional. We can't work with them. They they on drugs. Right. Who on drugs? All them the niggas are like, well, huh? Like, like what? Like, yeah, like niggas use alcohol. What drugs you talking about? Like niggas ain't never used no drugs. Like, not even my nigga busy. And mm. he admitted to his alcoholism. He's good now. But they tried to make it seem like we was just like out here, just like, oh, these niggas out of hand. Nigga, no, we ain't. You're not gonna control us. You're not gonna tell us how we need to sound or how we need to move. It's right. not going to happen. Seriously. It is. It's not going to happen. Man, this, this got good. Is it, is it a good segue for, shout out to Organic Food Kings? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nah, I just want to take a shot. Yeah. We're crazy right now. I'm just being honest. Let's man. do it, baby. I just want to take a shot, man. Let's you got to finish that bottle. We want you, listen. I'm going to take my... a pee after this shot. Hey, man, we, we, we know your style. <laughs> Bro, you went before me. You... This is the first time. It's the first time. <laughs> I'm drinking beer, man. It goes right through me. Yo, listen, Crazy Bone. I want indeed. you to know our show is about giving people their flowers. Mm -hmm. You are not only a legend, you're a super legend. You know how they say this? It's food and it's super food. Yeah. Like wheatgrass is super food. Mm, yeah. You like the wheatgrass of rappers. Bro, appreciate it, bro. My nigga. You a super food, nigga. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Salud, nigga. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Love. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I get it. Shit got real. I gotta, I gotta get, get, get my life together. I got, you know I got notes. You fucked up my notes. This nigga, you, yeah. fucked, up, you fucked up my notes. Yo, yeah. it's Red Cafe. Make sure we're at Red Cafe out there. Red Cafe. Okay. You know what I want to talk about? What's that? Home economics. Okay. With Lazy Bone. Is that, is that, I'm going too far now? No, no. That's the beginning, right? Oh, uh, this thing say home economics. Wow. Yeah, I did. He done his research. I like this shit. Uh, yeah, I dug deep. I dug deep. I dug deep. Home economics. Wow. Yeah. 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 That's like y'all first song, right? Yes. Yeah. No, that, that's that's why that's why I first met Lazy. Was in home economics class. Oh my bad. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 bro, bro, bro. Thought it was a song. No, no, this no, 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 bro, 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 bro. Listen, listen. I, you know, I go no, through a lot in my no, life, you bro. Know. But bro, I'm here with you. I no. did my research. Literally, yeah. home economics class, seventh grade is where I met this nigga. Like we was like, are you not gonna make noise for me? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Busy nigga, and I knew that y'all at home economics. <laughs> home economics. Which I don't know what is. Uh, for real, like what the fuck is home economics? Home ec is the class that they teach you how to cook and shit. Like, oh, that's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They teach yeah, you how I to cook that and. Class. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so we it's exactly, exactly skip that class. Yeah, skip yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. I ain't cook too much in that motherfucker either. No, I, ain't, I, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I was into? I was into <laughs> science. And global studies. For real? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, like a I wasn't in ain't supposed to be. That's why hey, I, was, I, wasn't in I used to be shit. there with a hoodie on like this. Because I was into this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm you're like, you a nerd. Like, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Case Ball. I'm My me. favorite subject was uh, PE. That's it. But, well, uh, that, yeah. That, that's like gym? Yeah, yeah, gym. Nigga, that's it. That's it. Yeah. Nigga, oh. get in play. <laughs> you know what I'm fuck, like, fuck everything else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For real. They shooting. God is coming for y'all niggas, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> Come on, let's, let's, let's take another shot. Gotcha. Let's take Come another on. shot. I'm with it. We're going to take another shot. You're crazy, man. We love you, crazy. I ain't going to lie. That's all love, baby. You, can't, you, you remember you came to the, 
uh, my homie's studio right there. Oh, but hell, right here. Right. We came, we came to the studio. God damn it, bro! I remember that. Come on, Yo, come on, Hollywood. Without me, bro. Yeah, oh, okay, we wait for you. Wait for me, dog. Oh shit. That's all good. I do another one. I'm Gigi. going home. Holy moly! After this. Ah. Woo, this rain is crazy. Wow, I said it. But now, let me just, all right, I know I'm changing the subject a little bit. What was the subject before? We don't even know. <laughs> Let's go. But Bone Thugs got to be the most legendary group that reached every category. Mm. Like, y'all was top 40, mm. top rhythmic, Top every motherfucking thing, right? Mm-hmm. Y'all met Janet Jackson before? Uh, no. I actually, I saw Janet Jackson perform at an award show, and I was standing there like, yo, that's For Michael real? Jackson's sister, son. Right. <laughs> For real. For real. You know what I'm saying? And I actually done a remix of one of her songs, but the shit never came out. And I don't know like where the shit Like an official remix is. that she had you on? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, that the producer of the song did. Right. And I never heard the shit again. So I'm like... And they was hype about it. They're like, yo, this shit about to be crazy. And I never heard nothing else about it. Yeah. How about MJ? Michael Jackson? Yeah. Yo, bro, like, honestly, like, that's the only artist... That's the only artist I say that I'm, I want to... I wanted to work with, like... Because that's who inspired me to get into the... Uh, to do music, period. Michael Jackson was my inspiration above had the zipper, any it? other thing. Uh, among any other artists, hip hop, pop, R and B, Michael Jackson was the dude that like I was I like think Yo. generationally it did that he did that for yeah, a lot like, of people. Yeah. But here's the main uh, question. You had the zipper jacket? The jacket with the zippers. Hell no, I couldn't the afford it. I couldn't afford it. But if How I would have glove. I made my own. <laughs> my own shit. Yeah, for real. Made my own shit. Yeah, for real. me moonwalk. For real. You know what I'm saying? Was it? Because I used to imitate the nigga. nigga I used Everybody to, did. Nigga, I used to dance. It and, yo, my nigga. When I tell you, I used to dance like the nigga Pac. Nigga, I used to dance. I used to dance. Like I get around. I was nigga. I, nigga, I did. Nigga, nigga, I used to MC Hammer shit, my nigga. John, do Keep do it do 100. Do Keep it 100, nigga. MC. I, I, I was into the whole hip hop shit, the dancing, the rapping. Everything. So, I just need to picture what you're saying. Did you have the pants? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you had one pair. You, you had, had one. You had one. You had one. You had one. Hey, you <laughs> said can't touch this. Hey, no, 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 no. listen, listen. You went from hammer to Michael. I mean, oh, we no, from, from Michael, Michael to hammer. To hammer. So, nigga, no. so I know you was in. <laughs> no. Listen, you had to have the leather jacket. You had the leather jacket, Michael. My nigga, I couldn't afford that shit. The thriller jacket. I couldn't afford it neither. It's true. I couldn't afford that shit. Like real talk, nigga. I wanted one. But Nick couldn't put. My parents wasn't having that shit. Like what, nigga? You can barely get school clothes, nigga. So you better be happy with that, for real. What about Prince? Oh, gee, my bro, bro. You met him though, huh? You met We've him? had some legendary Prince I stories. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. you ain't spoke this whole time. We're gonna give you. We're okay. gonna give you. Oh, yeah. we, we, you come on, you got. Yeah, bro. But well, you got the smoke got, champs there too. You got, you got, you got, you got the smoke champs there too, in case you want joints. Okay, we, we good. You bro. want blunt? Alright, good. Right, good. Let's bring you back to East Ninety Nine. Goddamn it. Okay, come on, let's go. Bring you back to East Ninety Nine. Bro, I met Prince one time. Wait. You going? Th- yeah, but poco lo fucking jodiste, bro. I gotta relax. So. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why you say jodiste and then. Well, right, go, go. No, no, you good. Let, let um, Red Cafe in. Tell us your Prince story, please. Okay, please. I mean, I, I mean it ain't really like nothing extravagant. Like, I, you know, I, I was um, flying into the Burbank Airport. That's California. Yeah, this was like years ago. Like, and I, and <laughs> yo, so I, I um, came in. I'm outside waiting for my car to pull up. And like people is in a friends, they're like, yo, that's Prince, that's Prince. And I looked, I, I, I was like, yo, that's Nick, yo, 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 this nigga had, this nigga was like short in the motherfucker, sir. He like yeah. this. I'm like short and easy. Yeah, he wears short the and platform easy. shoes. Yo, like short and a nigga. Did he had, have on purple? No. The nigga had on <laughs> he had on white. And the nigga was Same like, thing to me. he had on Same heels. Thing. He had on heels and he was still short. I'm Come like, on, man, it can't be platforms. Look on heels. I'm like my nigga, like, like, and then like, like people like, um, I walked into him, I was like, what's up, bro? Like, crazy bone from Bone Thugs at home. And he was like, I heard about you. I'm like, that's all you, that's all? <laughs> you heard? Okay, cool, Prince. Right, that's it. That's cool. That's all, that's all you get. That's cool. That's all you get. Hey, you know. It's Prince. Nigga, you heard about me, I'm cool with that. <laughs> that's all I need to know. You heard about me, for real. You know, so, I mean, yeah, it was cool. That's it huge, that's huge. Hell yeah. Like, it, I'm, it, I'm sorry, I got to get a shot for that. 
I'm sorry. Come on, I'm man. Sorry. That hey, was, that he ain't hear about us. Fuck me. He ain't hear about us. Prince ain't fuck with us. And he ain't had Ashley Chaps out, right? Let's just be clear. What'd you say? Ashley Chaps. You know. What is that? Ashley Chaps. That's how Twin Prince used to roll. Uh, he used to roll. Oh. Come on, man. You wildin' right now. Pull up, man. Pull up. You wildin' right now. Pull up. I ain't letting you go like that. I guess I'm going to go high. I'm going with my shit to the top, too. I'm going with my shit to the top, too. Yeah. Damn, I ain't gonna do good. Ah. Woo. Yeah. Crazy Bone. What's the last album you bought? Last album I bought? Yeah. And that wanted to listen to. Man, okay, wait. Last album I bought. I can tell you love you over there. And I wanted to listen to. And you wanted to listen to. Mm. Or downloaded. You don't have to be bought. That's kind of outdated. Man, y'all got to come back, cuz. Come back with that? Yeah, yeah, that light. It ain't a lot of motherfuckers like that, bro. bro. Yeah, What's the newest shit you listening to? All right, I got, I got, I got, I got. Okay, yeah, no, 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 no. Hold up, bro. Relax, relax. Like the new dudes I listen to, I fuck with the baby tough. I think that shit he going through is bullshit. Right. Keep it 100. Keep it 100. Uh, Lil Dirt. You know what I'm saying? Um, I fuck with Lil Wayne. Like T.I. shit. I mess with like a lot of dudes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I just like... I like real hip. I don't. I don't like dudes that sound like other people. So what happened with y'all and amigos? Because at some point, mm -hmm. it was like the bone thugs, yeah. amigos. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. But they, like, I gotta ask. Like to keep it one hundred. I'm a journalist. That's the show. A little bit. That's 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 a question you would have to ask Lazy Bone. Because honestly, I'm gonna keep it one hundred. Like I I don't have I have no problem with nobody in the industry because. Me neither. Like I, but it wasn't a problem. No, no, no. It no. was a yeah. discrepancy. Yeah. yeah, it was a discrepancy, and I feel like which I, which I expressed in Lazy Bone, like it's like, bro. Because what was it? They said I the told greatest him, group of all time. The greatest. The greatest. Yeah. And I'm like, my nigga, like, and I'm like, this is what I'm saying, like, what rapper do you know? That doesn't think they're the greatest group of all time in history. That's the point. That had, <laughs> first of all, hip hop is a is a very arrogant form of music anyway. Right. Hip hop has been the uh, very arrogant form of music from the jump. Like, even with Sugar Hill Gang, yeah. I'm the best. There's no rapper better than me. Like, that's, 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 that's the gist of like hip hop songs. Like, you always talking about, right. can't nobody fuck with you. I'm the best. That's part of the Can't nobody yeah. see me. That's part of hip hop. Yeah. So like, I feel like it's, it's, it's kind of hypocritical when we sit up and say, is that all y'all gonna talk about is money and jury? When the niggas before, all y'all talked about was I'm money the best, right, I'm right. the best, yeah, can't yeah. nobody see me, this and that, this and that and the other. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like, um, it's just like, bro, like, we just have to respect the culture, bro, because it's like, hip hop is with hip hop ain't never been like any other genre in music. Correct. It's not like that, so you can't compare us to any other genre. The only thing I would say about hip hop is I wish we would respect our legends mm -hmm. and our pioneers more. That's what we try. And to look do. out for them that's what we do way we do. more than we do because that's the only way. The architects, the original. The shit is right. going to continue. If we don't look out for the motherfuckers that started this shit, like. What do you think is going to happen to you? Me? Like, that's what I'm saying. What's going to happen to you if you don't take care of the ones before you? But, bro, like, to me, like, the word hip hop shouldn't even be spoke of without knowing who cool DJ uh, Herc. 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 Master Flash. It shouldn't even be. Yep. It shouldn't even be spoken Gold of. Crush, right. when you think of hip hop? Them niggas' pictures should be blam, blam. These the niggas right here. Right. Like if you well, know. Show, like if you know history well, of America. Let me America show this real quick. Because um, how did how how did it feel when it felt like for one week it was amigos. Against Bone Dogs thing that week, that week, not not in general. I love, but, but, but honestly, I'm gonna tell you like this: competition. I love it because yeah. I don't think nobody can see Bone. Mm. I'm gonna keep 100, and that's on just skill alone. <laughs> 
that's a, that's on that's that's on just skill alone, bro. Like because we study this, we students of the. What people don't realize is we students of this. I understand, I understand hip hop. I talk to KRS One. I understand hip hop. I understand it to the fullest, bro. Right. I was a student. I knew these dudes before people in Cleveland even knew who these dudes were. Right. Like, so I know who these dudes are, and I understand what hip hop is, and I understand. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, with me, without, like, <laughs> you know, it's my frame. What happened was, basically, I think Migo said they was the greatest group of all time. Yes, indeed. Busy. Was it busy? Lazy. Lazy. Okay. What Lazy happened? Said, <laughs> Relax. Yeah. And then. And then it was just back and forth. Yeah, it's back and forth. And where where was you at in your mind frame? Like you, 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 not, not the group, just you. My mind frame was like, fuck that dumb shit. My mind I'm frame respect. was like, nigga, who gives a fuck what them niggas say? Like, nigga, what I just told you, niggas is supposed to think they're the best. What what MC ever got into the business that you heard rap and say? Oh, it's such and such, and I think I'm the best. I'm almost the best. I may be the best. Right. No. Niggas like, nigga, I'm, half I'm the best, <laughs> and can't nobody fuck with me. Right. Period. Right. Period. It's like, hip hop has always been arrogant. You have but, to know this. But it goes this. both ways. You that, have to he know can this. say the same thing. We the best. We exactly. The best. Like, hey, that's, exactly. A part of, that's a part of the culture. Right, and that's what Lay said. He said, no, no, nigga, we're not. But I'm like, my thing is, like, we on such a legendary status, why even talk? Mm. Why even why even That's speak? True. That's true. Why even speak no when need for it. what's understood don't need to be explained. Right. Ever. And that saying is so real. That's why I was sitting back like, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say that then. But if you step in the ring with me, unless it's a main event, you step in the ring with me. Right, so it's going me to ask the main. It's question. going to be let a different just, outcome. A let, me, let, me, let, me, let me let me just ask the main that question. Let me just be straight up now. <laughs> I'm a different nigga. I'm a journalist right now. I'm gonna ask. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I know it. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, man? Kick out of here. Bone Thugs and Harmony go against the Migos right now. So. <laughs> On Versus? On Versus. So. I think that would be epic. Yeah, it would be. And I think it, I mean, I think it would be epic. I don't think it would be negative. I think it would be positive. I mean, it would be. But but this is my thing. I'm going to keep on hunting. Keep on would it be about actual skill and talent? No, it won't be. No, 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 no. I, I'm listening because this is the only way we would accept it. If it's about you actual, you guys gonna be the thuggest, ruggest. If it's about actual skill Versace, 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 Versace. and talent, <laughs> because I know it, like if it's if it's actually about skill and talent, because I know a lot of niggas that got a lot of money for rapping, right? But is that actual talent, my nigga? I'm keeping it 100. Like I, I don't like I'm I, I'm not trying to offend nobody, but what I'm saying is bound to. I can't help that. that but is but that would be for verses to decide, in the sense, the audience to decide. Yeah, 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 definitely. But like I'm like like. But I think y'all should. That would be dope if y'all did it, because it would be like we coming in this as hip hop, two generate two different generations. Mm -hmm. And we just gonna let the audience decide what they like. But that's why like. that's why we could never battle because we come from a different generation. Our morals and standards are different. So should we that be showcased? We don't, we don't we don't give a fuck about money because you can have all the money in the world. I'm still gonna fuck you up. It's as not about money. That's why I'm why the I'm verses still gonna might be eat dope. you up as an MC. But I don't give a fuck how much money you put on the table. If you ain't got skill, I'm gonna fuck you up as an MC. Right. Bottom line. Bottom line. That, 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 that's his bottom line. Now, that's why I think it would be a dope versus. I think yeah. it'd be dope. Definitely. Real talk. I'd be educational versus. I'm in. I'm in. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. Illuminati. Satan relax. Satan relax. relax. <laughs> Satan relax. <laughs> For real. <laughs> you know? And it was a beautiful day right before we walked in this motherfucker. That was a beautiful day right now. God damn it. Holy moly guacamole. I'm going to take another shot. I'm going to spread for you. Come on. Take Come, on. Come on, man. Let's go. This nigga not backing down. I'm being honest. Let's go. Let's go. Come I thought on, that man. somewhere he going to say, relax. <laughs> nah, come on. We do that. Okay, okay. Oh, fuck. Look at, look at, my, look at my shot. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me match. Let me Oh! Let me match you, baby. Let me that's, match you, that's man. You guys. Enjoy yourself. He said, enjoy yourself. <laughs> enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Ah, yeah. We cannot do that. Cheers, brother. Ah, la va, bro. Holy moly, wacky moly. I teach you waka dance right now. Yo, listen, I love how he, you know, that's Pun's favorite beer. You know what's funny? Cause what is the Coors Light? The Coors Light, and they, and they stepped to us yeah. to, to, Get to the mess fuck with us. Yeah, here. And, and at first I was like, I don't know, and then I told him that I told Coors Light, I was like, you know what? It makes it is there is synergy here. So now let's, let's let's hear your punch story, bro. Bro, look, nigga, my nigga, we knew this nigga punt, my nigga. We knew this nigga pun when this nigga, was, yeah, when this nigga was just like, like just like the humblest nigga, like. Like following Joe, like, like I said, we first clicked with Joe because of Steve Lobel. Mm. Shout out Lil Busy, my, yes. my Shout nigga out for to Steve life. Lobel. He involved for life. everything. Everybody, everybody. Yeah. that's my nigga for real. Like we, yo, yo, when the movie come out, people gonna know how much Steve Lobel had in Bone Thugs history for real. Yeah. Jesus Christ, real spill. Real spill, like he's he's real <laughs> deal, clapping. like nah, he is that, real deal. That dude Watch is like that's yeah. my dude, bro, a real brother. Like we, me and him, been through so much, like good and bad, to where we like can't nothing fuck with our relationship right now. Like real talk, that's my dude. That's my dude for real. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, yeah, man. So what? What are you talking about again? What's something? Big pun. Okay, yeah, big pun. So, so like, like I told y'all earlier, like. Fat Joe, like Chair, Chair Squad was the first motherfuckers to put us in. So like we was with them everywhere. Like we knew Big Pun when he was like, when he Punisher. was just like trying to get on. He was like, yo, bro, when I get on, I swear to God, I'm gonna fuck with y'all niggas. That's why he on Flesh and Bones album. That's why he on my shit because that nigga, yo, bro, and like nigga didn't pay motherfuckers nothing, my nigga. Them niggas like nigga don't pay me nothing. We fuck with y'all, like, period. And like that, that's why we fuck with them niggas. Like, that nigga, that nigga Fat Joe, that, that that nigga Fat Joe, my nigga, that nigga is a, as as real as they say he is, is what I know from him. He always been a stand-up motherfucker for bone. He always has. He always been there for niggas, my nigga, like for real. Like he always been like, no. Y'all ain't fuck. Like, even when we had this little beef with, like, Wu-Tang and that shit we jumped off, that nigga was like, he 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 was the only thing standing in between us and them clashing. He said, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. These bone niggas, my niggas, y'all my niggas, it's not going to happen. And Joe is a real motherfucker for that, for real. That's my nigga. For real. Joey! I'm sorry. I got to take a shot. Okay, you well, got to take a shot. <laughs> got to. You need a shot or you need penicillin right now, bro? <laughs> oh, oh, for so real. fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. For real. Let's take another shot. Yeah, come on. Let's do it, baby. Come on. You need a lighter. A crazy. No, let me just tell you something crazy. You need a lighter, my nigga. A lighter? Sorry. Y'all the most, one of the most legendary groups of all time. When I researched you girls, I couldn't realize, I didn't realize how much 
This is dramatic. You motherfuckers is a part of American Horror Story. No, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect for you right you now. That's my favorite shit right now. I watch American Horror Story. Bro, Nobody else, you don't watch that shit? That shit is bro, crazy. That shit's off the chain. I love that. <laughs> I love that shit. I'm in I'm season buddy. six right now. Oh, you're okay. just watching it now? No, I, I, I rewind it. Oh. I went back to the essence. Tell me, is it good? Yeah. I fuck with it all. Bro, because I'm about Come to start. On. I'm about to start. No, it's dope. Start. It's dope. Yeah, I'm about to start. Not every season's good, but it's good. But let me just tell you let me something. Let me, let me just be clear with you. Let me be clear with you. Take it, so it doesn't count. I, I, I got you. So I was just in Turks and Caicos. Ah. You was in K? Come with that. <laughs> so as I was in Turks and Caicos, right, I got this little bathroom. I'm in the master bedroom. That's a little bathroom. The bathroom, it's a heated toilet seat. I don't really appreciate it. Feel like the devil? Because I, yeah, I can shit, I can shit regular. <laughs> you don't, I don't need you don't my need shit to be, to be heated. heated. <laughs> but <laughs> I've been in rich niggas' houses. <laughs> niggas want to have heated <laughs> toilet seats. <laughs> Fuck these niggas. But I'm in the heated toilet every morning. I'm waking up. There's a little white girl on a swing. <coughs> what are you talking? Oh, on the movie. You didn't, see my, you didn't see my shit? What do you mean see a, shit? A little, on my Insta story. You saw her for real in real no, life? She's a real, real little white girl. <coughs> she's just swinging. Nah. I swear to God. In I'm a liar. Sonny D is. Just swinging. She's just a little white girl swinging. Sonny looks like he's scared, bro. <laughs> she's just swinging. Like he's still scared. <laughs> Crazy bone, you got you got pay attention. She's just swinging. Mm. I'm looking like this is a, this is exactly how American Horror Story starts. <coughs> exactly. It's a little white girl by herself, no parents. So this is what I thought was gonna happen. I was wrong. What? What was wrong? Mm. What was gonna happen? You never seen a little white girl with no bra. Well, what was gonna happen after? You never watched American Horror Story? Yes, brother. <laughs> was the heated toilet gonna burn you? What was gonna happen? <laughs> Yes. That's exactly what nah. I thought. Let's make some noise for Red Cafe in the motherfucking building. Hey. <coughs> bueno, Tanji. Huh, yeah, now they got you. Hey, ready? You want, you want another shot? Come I just on. feel like it just... I just feel like it's appropriate. It's appropriate. One for the par? It's appropriate. So then how was it? Mariah Carey called you? J bro. Did you think you was going to take her down? Like, yeah. <laughs> Did you? Hey, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. It's been... Oh, he slid it in, huh? Yeah. Okay, so look. Let me He's the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can't, uh, what? You can't tell him that that hey, early. Hey, Illuminati. <laughs> this interview's <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take it out. No, you gotta no, take no. the shot. You gotta okay, take okay. it. Okay. Uh, this nigga so, went to info. This nigga, you gotta take the shot. Gotta... Take the shot before you talk to me, nigga. So, so Mariah called you. So, yeah, you brought, so like, this was some different shit, my nigga. We like, yo, yo, my nigga. And when I tell you we were so much into our Cleveland shit to where, at that point, if Michael Jackson would have called us and be like, nigga, come, we'd be like, nigga, what? We ain't leaving Cleveland, nigga. We hot in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, it was that, nigga. We like, nigga, we hot. That's all we gave a fuck about. Because it was so many niggas that told us you niggas ain't gonna be shit. Mm. We was in that bitch like, nigga, fuck you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Fuck y'all. Real talk, my nigga. Like, so we was on that shit. We was like, yo, like, okay, cool. Like, so when, Ma so when Mariah called us, we was like, we was so much in our shit, me and Wish, it's the only niggas got on the plane. <laughs> like, me and Wish is on the plane, my nigga. This is no lie. I tell the story all the time. This is no lie. Tell the story again. We going to motherfucking New Madagascar. York. Madagascar. To fuck Madagascar. Mariah. Come on, stepping. So, wait, wait, tell me. You fuck. Say, please phrase that again, because you said you just going to New York to fuck Mariah. We going to New <laughs> He never said that. to fuck Mariah, bro. What is wrong with you, bro? Say, he said fuck, no. He meant, he meant to fuck with Mariah. Yeah, but he, please, did, he, didn't, even, he didn't even say it how you said it. Yeah. I'll just tell you, we got to in New York to fuck with Mariah. The there song. Go, there you go. The there song. To work said, with Mariah if you need work, the remix. Yeah, to do the song. Okay. Yo, my nigga, this, this is the conversation. 
This is the conversation. <laughs> no lie. This is this is how much we wasn't realizing who the fuck we were. We on the plane, first class, my nigga. Me and Wishbone on the plane. I'm sitting here like this. I say, who the fuck is Mariah Carey anyway? Uh. This nigga say, I don't know, some bitch. <laughs> Yo. Sorry, Mariah. Keep, keep, keep it to 100. Like, this is the truth, though. He said, I don't know, some bitch. I, don't know. I say, I heard this. <laughs> 100. My nigga, keep it 100. Keep it 100, my nigga. I got to. You guys Mariah, really said that. You Mariah, guys really I love that. you. I love you. But I say, nigga, I say, who the fuck is this bitch? <laughs> bleep, 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 bleep. My nigga, straight up. I say, who the fuck is this bitch? Yo, me and my niggas, me and my nigga, which we sat here and contemplated because we was so, like, we was hot boys in Cleveland. So we was contemplating, like, do we really want to go to New York and leave all of this and, like, in Cleveland? <laughs> like, we on fire in Cleveland, nigga, they ain't loving us. Do we want to go here and, like, like, who the fuck is Mariah? Like, we like, Lobel called us. <laughs> like, y'all on the plane? Yo, 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 my nigga, Lobel, he Lobel been about to light you up he right now. Like, yo, y'all on the plane? Yeah, we on the plane. I say, Wish, we should get off this. My friend, yo, I say, we should get off, man. Fuck this, man. He, Nobel, like, bro, do not get off this plane. I say, bro, like, who is she again? He like, bro, this is fucking Mariah Carey, bro. Come to New York. I say, okay, bro, cool. When I hung up the phone, Wish getting up, like, I'm out this motherfucker. I'm like, <laughs> I say, Tony, wait, Tony, wait, 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 wait. No, no, fuck, let's go, let's go, Tony. He say, what? I say, Tony, let's go, man. <laughs> Yo, we went to this motherfucker, took off on the plane, got there, they picked us up, went to the studio, the same shit with Biggie. Yo, Mariah had this shit. Yo, she had the motherfucking weed on a silver platter. Yo, she had the weed and the Hennessy, my nigga, on a silver, <laughs> on a silver Platter. <laughs> she was like, Mariah's a G, dog. Set it out. We in this bitch like, oh shit. <laughs> we like, hey, hey, Mariah's a G. <laughs> Yo, bro. So, so she played a song for us. We go in this motherfucker like, she like, Stevie J, Puff in the motherfucker. We in the motherfucker like, oh, bro. We went in that motherfucker, bro. Knocked that shit out. She was like, Yo, this is my single. This is my single. Because she went to Tommy Matola, from what I understand. And she was like, who is these dudes that's knocking me out of that's knocking me out of first place? We're crossroads. Mm. But Meet cross, me at the crossroads. Crossroads knocked everybody out. Right. Bam. Excuse out me. Here. She's like, who is these motherfuckers? Like, you know, who is these motherfuckers? Like, okay, when she learned who we was, I wanna work with them. Smart. And we was like, hit after hit after hit, and that's the homegirl. That's the homegirl. Come on, goddamn. Thanks, Lee. We back with motherfucking Crazy Bone Mix again. Yeah, we back, we back. <laughs> yeah. So, it's crazy. Yeah. Bone. <laughs> you, had, you, had, you had an arrow with Bone Thugs, you mm -hmm. had an arrow with. Dr. Dre, mm -hmm. have an error with Easy E, have yeah. an error with fucking Big Pun, Pac. What was your most shocking? And, and, and uh, Easy E, excuse me. What's mm -hmm. your most shocking? Like when anyone who wanted to work with you, what was the most time that a person says, hey, I want to work with you? And you like, what the fuck is going on? My, my nigga, life? it ain't even hip hop. It's like nigga Phil Collins. Wow. <laughs> like you linked with Phil Collins? My, my, bro, Phil, bro, we got That's a nigga, song I'm with Phil Collins. Collins. Like, no, I know, but... <laughs> bro, we, What's that nigga name? Bro, like, bro, bro, bro. Combo. Bro, so look. He's feeling in there. Like, nah, <laughs> Phil Collins is a G, man. My nigga, What's so that nigga name again? What, so look, what, Phil I just Collins... Think, I just think of Cocaine Cowboys in Miami bro, Vice era. Bro, so like, Phil Collins was like... So like, I had a song 
It is feeling in the air. Like my father is a my father was a music for <coughs> this nigga didn't sing but he could sing. You know like, like, like my father could sing but he I don't know if he didn't know he could sing or nobody really told him pursue that. I understand everything you saying. Like he that's had what, it in him but he didn't he didn't pursue it. But that's what But that's right, what in go. me that's Continue. where it come from. Right. That's where it come from. So like bro bro like it's like Real, bro. Like it's like he like inspired me to like to to do so much stuff. Like as far as the melodies. Wait, Phil Collins or your bro, father? Like my father played. Oh, your father. Okay. This music. My father played like so much music. My father used to play music, and he would get up in the morning and sweep and clean the house, like and eat a poor boy. And I would wake up a like who? a pop oh boy. Yo, yo, yo. I would wake up. This is what I remember waking up to, like, yo, OJs and yo, and this is like, I'm like, yo, this is like just a vibe. Right. My father is who put me on the music. Mm. As far as the old school. My right. mom, my mom was more into the hip. Yo, my mom fucked with hip hop shit. My mom used to be like, my she mom loved Cool Mo D. My mom loved like Dana Dane, uh, like Slick Rick. I feel like we got to get a shot for mom. Uh, yeah, come on, mom. Take a shot for mom. Rest, Rest in peace. Shot. Rest, Rest in peace, peace mama. Rest, Rest in, in peace, peace mama. mama. Let's take a shot for mama. Where your Hennessy at? Let's do it. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Let's do it. He pointed heavy. Take, he, that, that's uh, a shot for uh, mama, uh, goddammit. My mama. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, right, Pete. My mama. You're looking at me like, this nigga's the devil. My mama, for real. So... My mom was like, she was like, yo, I fuck with what you doing? But my pops was like, my pops was on some, my pops fuck with what I'm doing right now. My pops just called me right now, it's just crazy. He just hit me. My pops fuck with what I, was fucking with what I did. My, my, my pops knew that I could be like, he knew my mom. My pops yeah. knew my mom, my pops was like, yo, son, like, you could be so much more. Right. Mm. But I'm like, what's what's more than potential. like music? I'm like, in my mind, what's more than music? There's nothing more than that. Like, music is what is what reaches people. Right. Music is what that's what it is. I, I don't give a fuck nobody that. Like, music has Correct. always been to me, like, music has always been a like to to me is to like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like shit you can't do, you can do. That's what music symbolizes to me. Right. Music is that place to where they say you can't do it, but you really can. Right. That's how I look at music. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, but but like it's the darkest, darkest bone. Yeah. How the darkest fucking bone? I, I, darkest fucking bone. Hey, hey, come on with that one. Darkest darkest bone. Bro. <laughs> That's, hey, come that's, on with that. That was the weirdest bro, transition I ever heard in my bro, life. Bro. I'm, I'm holding it down. Okay, so let me tell you how we met her, my nigga. So we had this song already done. The song, we we was actually singing the part. Thuggish, ruggish, bone. But we weren't singing it. We was on some thug shit. It's the thuggish, ruggish, bone. But, but, you, yeah, it's the thuggish, ruggish bone. I'm in. So, <laughs> we, bro, I'm in, bro. No, we sing it. Just sing yeah, it, bro. I'm gonna sing it. Just sing it. Just go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was in there, I was in there. Bro, bro. so we, we actually outside, bro. We say, okay, let's take this break. We take a smoke break and we go outside. We outside smoking cigarettes and shit, bro, like smoking weed. We like, you know what I'm saying? So this female walk up, she like, she like, we outside the studio. She like, what's this place right here? We like, this is a studio. She like, for real? We like, yeah. She like, I can sing. We was like, really? Was it random like that though, for real? Bro, bro. Like, did she Everything plan that? Everything I'm telling random? you is random. She was like, I can sing. We said, okay. Sing, bro, cause we. This is how the this is how the chorus line to Thuggish Ruggers Bone sounded before she sang it. It's the Thuggish Ruggers Bone. 
It's the thuggish, ruggish bone. It was mad thuggish, ruggish. It's the thuggish, ruggish. That's what the chorus line was. It was mad thuggish, ruggish. And we told her, can you sing this? It's the thuggish. She was like, it's the thuggish. We was like, my nigga, we was like, yo. So we say, okay, wait a minute. We were inside the studio. We were like, E, come here. What's her name again? Sorry, what's her name again? Just what? So we, her name. Shatasha. So we don't get it. So we make sure we. But, we, but, that's, that's, but let's just be clear. When you say E, that's my homegirl. Shatasha. Easy E. Can you, can you, can you, can Easy E. Oh, all right, I apologize. My homegirl, yeah. Shatasha. E, like E what's is just up? Shout the out nigga to her. from Flatbush Avenue. Yeah. Like, just come on. All so, right. so, so we in this motherfucker and. Like she like it you know, like so we like okay. So easy like um she come in the studio, easy like easy hear her spit, she like we like seeing this, she like in the when you roll. we like <laughs> easy like record her right now. Ah yo, easy's a fucking he say, genius. He say, He's a re- fucking genius. He man. say record her right now. Yeah, it's a hundred He's a fucking genius, man. No lie. We in here like, okay. She like, it's the, yo, e, yo, easy like, yo, this is the single. We like. This and is, it's yo. the thuggest fucking small. Bro, she came in off the streets, my nigga. Off the streets. And we said, sing this. No, she had no recording history. No, no, bro. She put up on us like, what's this place here? We <laughs> said, this is a recording studio. She was like, oh, really? Yeah, she was crazy. like, look, I sing. She was crazy. like, listen, listen to this. She was like, and she sang something for us. And we was like, okay, sing this. We, we, we said, sing this. It's the thuggish, ruggish bone. She said, yo, bro. Yo, this is, <laughs> yo, this is crazy, though. The way she sang it, we was like, we all stood there like, <laughs> We said, yo, yo this come, is crazy. And, come inside, yo, it's so crazy. We said, come inside the studio. Yo, <laughs> we took her to the studio. This nigga E was like, this nigga E, this nigga E said, because he real private. He said, who is this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> we said, E, we said, E, shh, listen, listen to this. <laughs> we said, E, listen, listen. Yo, he said, okay, play the track. Unique, DJ Unique, play the track. She was like, it's the thing. Easy was like, <laughs> Easy was like, yo, record her right now. <laughs> he said, record her right now. I don't give a fuck. Record her now. And he was like, bam. She was like, it's the thing. It's right, it's right. I was like, yo. Easy was like, this is the one. Yo. A few weeks later, Wow, dude. That shit was mixed. And Easy called us like, nigga, turn on the radio right now. You turn the radio. That shit was like, yo, people was calling us like, yo. Yo, it's cr-. I was like, nigga, are you serious? It was crazy. Like, it was history after That's that. Crazy. Done deal. Done deal. For real. Yo, shout out Easy E, man. He's a motherfucking genius. Hey, yo, a G, man. That's my, hey, yo, Easy E for real, my nigga. A lot of motherfuckers talk shit about, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but nah. if it wasn't for Easy E, a lot of shit we see today wouldn't be happening. Wouldn't have even happened. Yeah, absolutely. Period. Absolutely. That's why we fuck with the right one. I yeah. tell niggas every day, we fuck with the right one. Nah, for yeah. real. Real talk, real talk, real talk, real talk. He's Louise Papa Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Who oh, are they? I just want to... This is my last question. Mm-hmm. Where do you place Bone Thugs in the last five groups ever? Where do you place Bone Thugs at? I place Bone Thugs as the most... Influential group ever. Because if you think about it, 
Because if you think about it, like, like, like people like you know, like emulate styles all the time, right? Bro, all the time. Like Bone Thugs and Harmony has been the most emulated style. Mm-hmm. Period. I don't even I don't care where you started from. Bone Thugs and Harmony is the most em- like. I credit N.W.A. as being the most dangerous group in hip hop because them niggas made y'all think different. Yeah. N.W.A. made you think different. Like nigga, fuck what they telling you. This is what it is. Mm-hmm. You think like this. That's why I fuck with them. Thanks, I already. But spoke Bone Thugs and Harmony, we came in telling y'all like. And we was, we was so hardcore with it. We came in telling y'all peace. <coughs> we came in telling y'all peace, love, and harmony. But it was, but we was so hardcore with it. We understand that it, it's not always peace, love, and harmony. You have to ride for that. Uh. You have to ride for peace, love, and harmony. Like it ain't nothing that's given to you. Like me and my niggas, we've been through so much. People think. We don't like each other. People think Bone don't like it. Busy Bone is my nigga. That's the one that actually started yo, the, the drama yo, between y'all yo, at one point. Busy Bone is my nigga. Lazy Bone is my nigga. Flesh and Bone is my nigga. Wish Bone is my nigga. I don't care. Take y'all shots family, niggas, man. Right y'all now, man. family. I don't Let's care. Take shots niggas, right? Real tough, my nigga. Let's take shots, man. Let's take shots, man, because you know what? We need to hear that. That my nigga. that 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 For real? Bone Thugs and Harmony don't got no motherfucking beef. It ain't my nigga, no matter what. You gotta what. take the shot though. Come on, come on. Dale, bro, de coño. Continue. No matter uh. no matter how they try to make us look, how they try to say we ain't together, my nigga. We always have an understanding amongst each other. I love that. Fuck this business, my yep. nigga. My, Fuck this business. Them niggas like, them niggas only see what they see from bone. Me and my niggas is brothers. Like, and we gonna die brothers. Absolutely. Crazy. Like, real. Crazy, lazy, busy, wish and flesh, we gonna die brothers. I don't give a fuck if y'all catch us on our worst day. If y'all catch us on our worst day, Y'all just catch me beefing with my brother. That's it. Enjoy that. Enjoy it. Because me and my niggas, we know where we stand. And I would never sell none of my niggas out for none of this music shit. Mm. And we all feel like that. We would never. Like, y'all y'all follow us. Y'all know what we go through. Y'all know me and my niggas. We go through shit. But this shit ain't, this shit ain't never above me and my niggas. Ever. It's bone thug till we die, and y'all will see that. And, and you know what? On y'all worst day, y'all legends. My nigga. That's it. Real talk. That's all it is. And I fuck, I fuck with yo, bro. I fuck with you, my nigga. Nah. Cause I nah, see you, listen, my y'all, nigga. Y'all, my yeah, nigga. listen, listen. I just want I you to know something. You, for real. Hold on, hold on. And Red Cafe is here too, but I want y'all to know something. This is y'all platform. Uh, when we, we we built this, we built this to pe- to show love to people that, that that got this love that that's been in this game. Nigga. The way is the way is us, and this is your platform. So anytime you want a motherfucker, you want to talk about anything. You want to talk about um, yeah, 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 all that, my nigga. Whatever, I whatever the fucker you want to talk about. I know. We here, goddamn it. We here. You want to take a shot? No, thank you. Come, come on, shot. come on, come on. You ain't saying come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Look, my shit is to the top. Look, my shit is to the top. The crazy bone has been out here doing the biggest shots in the world, but he's not by himself. Mmm. Ah. Dolly, get to grave. I'm a boy. Dolly, get to grave. Crazy bone. No, nah, no, nah, we gotta, we gotta show the love, crazy bone, bro. Let's go. You really a legend out here. That's real. So how is it doing? 
four songs with four legends. Mm. Biggie, Tupac, Big Pun, and Easy. Jeez, Louise, bro. I can't. I can't relate to that. Bro, it's it's love, bro. Huh? Oh, wait, wait. Just so y'all know, me and my nigga DJ Paul, we working on an album right now. Me and my nigga. Yo, when you hear this album, my nigga, you gonna know. Uh, you understand why we do what we do. Juicy J, my nigga. DJ Paul, my nigga. Oh, Gangsta Boo, my yeah. nigga. Country Black. I love all these niggas, my nigga. Like, we had beef, but... Gangsta Boo? Yeah, bro, these my people. Like, these, this is family now. Yeah. Just like Dog Pound. Like, Daz, Corrupt. Nigga, them my niggas. Like, they got beef, we got beef. It's mm. like that. Bomb. With Snoop... My nigga Snoop, my, my nigga, you got beef with Snoop, you got Snoop with Bone. We fuck with each other like that, for real. No bullshit, like, we fuck with each other like that all day. Hit that. Yeah, I want to, I want to. Hit that, yeah. nigga. He's the Illuminati, just FYI. All right, let, let, let's <laughs> end this out. <laughs> they tell me that you, you love Illuminati. He what? This he what? What? He what? What did he like? Know. They told me he love Illuminati. My no, nigga. bro, we already talked about the Illuminati, bro. The thunder fucking said crowd. a little bit, you like to be Poughkeepsie. My, My nigga. nigga. I, <laughs> I, love, I, say I love a new Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga, I'm going to tell you like this. My nigga. I don't even believe in this. I think that motherfuckers make us think like... I don't even, like, why do niggas, why when niggas make money, you got to be a Illuminati? Mm. Why when we start making money, oh, it got to be crooked. That's the same shit they say, bro, my nigga. Like, they making money, it has to be crooked. No, it don't. Just because we don't agree with the way y'all make money, nigga. Like, what? My nigga, no, it don't. Real talk, like, that's real. That's how I feel about the shit. The fuck out of here with that shit, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? We can all make money. We don't have to be on the same page. Money ain't never, money ain't that's ever said I'm black. My, yeah, my nigga, money has never said I'm black, I'm white, I'm Mexican. Like, money has never said fuck. that. Money has never said that. So why is this? So we said. <laughs> never. Never. Like, it's like... Money, I, and on top of that, I fuck with everybody, my nigga. Right. Like, I, nigga, if you knew my family, I have... My family is so fucking... Divert. I have white people. I have Jamaicans. I have my nigga. My family is so diverse. You would be like, nigga, for real? That's why I can't. It's impossible for me to be prejudiced. <laughs> because <laughs> all these people are my people, my nigga. I'm like, like, how? How can you... There's no race on earth that is pure. There is no race on earth that is pure. How can you be like that when there's no race that's pure? How can you be like, oh, nigga, I'm better than you. Nigga, where you come from? They can't even explain where they come uh, from. Uh, uh. They can't. Nigga, where you come from? I don't know. Then shut the fuck up. Real talk. Like, we cannot have an argument unless we actually know where we come from. Right. Where you come from? I don't know. Then shut the fuck up. Yeah, he said that. Yeah. Real. Real talk. And Mostasha? I want to shut the fuck up. You get the shit <laughs> and he said, I want to shut the fuck up. And let's take the picture and let's shut the fuck up. Oh, man. Let's go. Come on. We done. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby.